And hello, hello everybody. Hi all. It's Wednesday. It is another extremely overly warm day, but uh, I have a cup full of ice and some water and a little soda, and uh, we will sweat it out as much as we can. Um. <clears throat> Let's see. Yesterday, uh, Backbone came out, and I think I'll do that because my friends say it's uh, about a three to four hour game. It sounds about well, it sounds, that sounds good. Since um, I do want to do no more heroes, but that is a longer game, so we'll do we'll finish up. Uh, we'll, we'll start start up and finish Backbone first, and then jump over to no more heroes. <clears throat> Swap over to this. And then start the game up. It's going to warn me that I have drivers that are actually newer than what they recommend. I think they actually swapped the two. Uh... <laughs> they, they accidentally swapped the two uh, designations. Just fine. My drivers should be just fine. <clears throat> Over to the audio, just a bit more, so it's not, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not overpowering my voice, but that it is still audible. Like it is, so we'll go with that. And go new game. The prologue. Sorry, Mr. Tall. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up. AD move, eat interact, tab to exit the detective menu. Okay. Ah, okay, there's no mouse control for it. So, uh, inspect the portal. Okay, mouse control and looking at stuff, I see. Ah, Pianetti, you beautiful, dangerous, renegade you. Maybe one day you'll settle down and call me again. Greenery, where most of our food is grown. Widest open spaces in the city. More restrictions on public visits every year. West End, no one's idea of paradise. Mainly factories and cramped tenement, uh, tenement blocks full of neglected souls. What is this? Uh, Vale Town. Good place for a nice but expensive date. Museums, fancy music halls. I've not been for a long time. Docks, where all the fishing boats hang out. Plenty of warehouses and seriously sketchy dive bars, too. Granville, where the night comes to life. It's got rough edges, but it feels like home. Pop something. Not sure what that is. Home to the high and mighty. Skyscrapers full of apes, big shots, and gated communities. I can keep it. East Town? Or is that Ghost Town? Ah, uh, Gas Town. Okay. Ah, uh, Gas Town. That's the dream. Well, if you're a bur bourgeois snoob, snob who dreams of overpriced salad, it is nice and clean, though. Mama Hell Loader. And I've spent years trying to unlearn half of it. My diploma project, Places of Absolute Solitude. Only action my camera sees these days is snapping pools, leaving places they shouldn't be in. I think that's everything? Yeah. Okay. Case files. Insurance fraud, stolen cars, estranged lovers. Should have probably been some of these old case files. 
use the mouse to drag and drop items. Sometimes we picked up a present. Okay. Uh, we should put the bowl away. Uh, oh, green at 4 p.m. Dangly feet. Anything else? Nothing else to grab? Okay. Let's go look at the living room then. Media set. Gotta hit up Frankie to fix it when I have cash. So never. Notes on fridge. Call mom. Buy soap. Pay bills. Don't die. Photo chemicals. Leaving photo developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. Hard to get tired of this view. That looks, doesn't look too bad. Place dishes. Yep, the dishes away. I'll wash these later. Probably not. Toilet. A toilet books. The Great Apes, The Great Story. Swell toilet read. Back to the living room. Back to the office, and... Oh, place chemicals. Oh, we, we grabbed the chemicals. I didn't realize that. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> oh, that must be Mrs. Green. Oh, dead. Uh, excuse me. I'm looking for Detective Loader. Uh, we spoke on the phone? Let's see. I gather you have a case for me? At your service, Mrs. Green. How's your day? Or that's me. We were begging for her, so tell me everything. Uh, I like number two. Oh, uh, truth be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancy put pressure on the spine. And, and please, oh, death is fine. Uh, your first kid? You got it. How can I help you today? Or you didn't say much when we spoke before. Uh, let's not pry too much on that. Uh, you got it. How can I help you today? I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is presuming too much, the first and third one. So we'll do, I'm listening. He just hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. Uh, you tried to talk to him about it? Yes, but he gets difficult. Like it's my fault. Listen, I just need to know, I need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. You need it for the court. Court? You filing for divorce? Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. That's right. And above all, I need something damning, damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Uh, your husband will want the kids. Uh, I can't take any chances anymore. But has he said or done something that would? Mm, yeah. But has he said or done something that would make you? Something to make you think he would? Hi, Erd. Uh, this is a separate issue. One I don't want to dig up right now. Hmm, yeah, it's the kids, Odette. I really need every edge I can get. He has threatened to take them, yes. Daisy and Elliot shouldn't have to go through all this. I'm, do I'm doing what it takes to protect their future. Uh, yeah, is your hus husband aggressive? I can't see how this is pertinent, Mr. Lotor. Odette, personal details can make or break a case. I don't see how this would help you take a photo of my husband. Um, I have to know if he's dangerous. Fine. He has a mean temper. Unpredictable. That's all you need to know. Uh, what makes you so certain he's having an affair? He was always kind of a private man. Now he started getting home late, missing work. Smelling funny. What kind of smell? Like perfume and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something poignant. Uh, a kind of herbal stink. Mm, he's skipping work? I've had calls from his boss. Wondering if he was sick. I even covered for him. So fed up with this. Uh, how late are we talking? Way past the kids' dinner time. I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Uh, and you caught him lying? Well, he's just so bad at it. Wasn't much of a liar when we first met, or at least I thought so. 
Uh, I'm taking the case. Let's talk final details. Sure, what do you need to know? Um, what does he look like? Uh, here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Um, let's see. Where would, you, where would I find him usually, I mean? Usually at work at, or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Uh, have you met any of his friends? No, but he mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. Hmm. How would I pick him out of the crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Uh, what's his full name? Any aliases? Jeremy Green. I think people work at work call him G's. Or Jez. Jez? I guess Jez. Oh, where does he work? At the Wolf Bank. A Wolf Bank? Really? Uh, at the Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. That should be enough. There's just a the matter of my fee. I can give you 100 now and 50 when you bring me the photo. Will that suffice? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. It's not just my life riding on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? <clears throat> Ooh. Um, I care about my clients. Your problems are my problems. Don't mean to let me down, Mr. Lotor. I trust you with my life. Of course, I'll get right on. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. Alright. So, track Jeremy Green to find evidence of his infidelity that Odette could use in court. So, we have a picture of Odette's probably unfaithful husband. Can we get a better look at it? No. Okay. At the Grand Bill, we go. Ooh, I love the visuals. The visuals are really nice. Granville. Furman and Sons. Oh boy, we got we one of my favorite things is looking at all the uh the um the background eye visuals of uh games like this. Especially ones that are fur. So always nice to look at them. So you got Donovan's cocktails. Uh, Granville. It smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. So stay vigilant eye. A squirrel. Hello. Yo, old man. Uh, how's it going, fella? Just hanging. What's up with you? Uh, you could say I'm hanging too. From my hanging to yours, peace, bro. Uh, take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man, even if I had, why would I tell you? Huh, well, see you. Lawyer's office, Furman and Sons. Old shift to run. Okay, thank you for telling me. Ooh, cool posters. Citizen Maine. Amazing. <laughs> Something bite. I can't tell this. Uh, Anatoly. Hey, if it wasn't Mr. Howie. What's a rascal like you up to on a fine evening like this? Hey, Anatoly. I'm looking for someone. Uh, no. My beaver. For Estrella and the kid. They're both doing just fine. Essie and I are going are good. Great. We even bless the shepherd got a second lad due soon. Oh, and I got a great story for you. Another? Wow, you guys are lucky. Thanks. He's a big one too. Essie is round as a watermelon. Anyway, the story. I tell her, ha, woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. <laughs> uh great. Can you answer a couple of my questions first? Howie, ease up. What's so important you can't let a friend tell us his story? I'm looking for a guy. Here's the photo. Seen him recently? I don't know, Howie. I see so many faces. I know those scrawny sorts like flashing them cash at the bite, though. Have you seen him there? I look like the kind of guy to move there. Essie'd have my balls. Anyway, Howie, you're scaring off my clients, you know? 
All right, thanks, Anatoly. See you around. Rogue. What do we got? The day, the day I bought a bike. Citizen Maine. Johnny and John don't drive. Something the great story. Shown every day at. Uh, yeah. yeah. They did a great job restoring the rogue. People watch more movies. Maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Canines. Cocktails in a movie. Sounds like a great plan for the weekend, actually. Doctor Cyclops. Northern Tickets. Poster. Eden Simmons is the hottest new jazz star. See her tonight only at the bite. See, a little help can go a long way. Craft Spider, how you doing? Bank, a banker. Yeah? You folks work at Wolf Bank, right? Yeah, why? Uh, is Jez around? Who are you? Uh, ooh. <laughs> we'll go Wallace, asshole owes me money. Been looking for him everywhere. You and me both, pal. And Derek. Good luck getting it back anytime soon. I make my own luck. When was the last time you saw him? Today, but the wimp ass left early. He's scared Derek's gonna split his wig. Hey. Did something happen at work? His contract does not get renewed. Bastard had it going. Let's see. You got a girlfriend or something? You reckon harlots are sort of girlfriends? Then sure. Could be with one of them for all I know. Uh, did you boys spend time with him outside work? Yeah. We used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday, until he turned into a needy leech. The bite? Could he be there now? How the fuck would I know? Now skedaddle, Rack. I'll do just that. Fish, shrooms, and veggies. Ooh, grilled. Those all sound good right now. <laughs> the bite. I definitely wouldn't fit in with that crowd. Wouldn't want to. Pank. No inches for raccoons. Goodbye. Let's see. Uh, perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind? I'd be more careful with my mouth if I were you, tiny striper man. Interesting. What do you want? Can I get inside? Still no. Don't ask again. Interesting. Swinging tails, jazz, dream, something. Hurt and the uh, angry something. Uh, we'll just go into the alley. We'll get in there on our own way. Larry. Howard? Well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Larry, what are you doing here? How are you doing, old man? You calling me old? You should look in the mirror. Haha, <laughs> alright, that's fair. Plus, these rags like they don't help my appearance any. Um, I didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. Who really expects to see anyone with notes in a back alley? What's going on? What are you up to? Wait, you live here? Live? Have you seen how tough the crowd here is? Nah, I live at the bridge. It's really not as bad as it sounds. Uh, I'm so sorry, Lily. Can I help in any way? Not really. Thank you, though. Now, what's your deal? Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Uh, shoot. Uh, nothing serious, just messed up his marriage. Eh, like they do. What's he like? Uh, it's about my height. Chubby, wears a green hat. Haven't seen him, sorry. Let you know if you have anything. I'm here often, hear people talk. I gotta leave, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guy's on an otter? That's weird. Hmm... Have any ideas how I could get in? What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with a leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but you're but they're chummy. 
Ooh, what sort of stuff does Johnny push? Your typical, like Hype and Shatterfang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called Monkey Butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. And you think this guy, this Johnny guy'd help? Mm, might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. Uh, monkey butt? Yeah, word is this new thing's the shit. Uh, though perhaps a bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. Does it have kind of an herbal stink? No first hand experience, but I guess that could be more a delicate way to put it. Uh, what do you know about the bite? Owners of Bloodworth, so lots of rumors floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth. The Bear family? Prime family. Last year, head of the family up and died, and, hit, and shit hit the fan. Air ended up in prison. And the current owner is a relative? Yeah, she's the illegitimate daughter or something. Whoa, what are the rumors? Oh, all kinds of bullshit. How she's got an ape for a lover, or that she was the one who got all the others killed so she could take over. Alright, thankfully that's enough to get me into the bite. Thanks. You got it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon? Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you. Oh. Guy? Okay. Oh, stay vigilant. Interesting. No answer. No answer. Okay. I wonder if that'll come into play later. So we saw the squirrel back this way, right? Let's head on over there. Was this guy? Are you Johnny? Who's asking? Name's Wallace. What do you do, Waldo? What do you want, Waldo? I need to get into the bike. I bet you do, pal. Why should I care? Oh, man. I don't know if I want to call it monkey butt. That's a questionable thing to call it right now. So we'll go, listen, I heard it's the place to go for the good shit. Oh, you mean like that new school jazz? Or the great upholstery? I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. Get out of here, old fart. <laughs> I love the last one. Uh... No, I need to get into the bite, and I won't take no for an answer, you shit. What's in it for me, you cocky bastard? <laughs> uh... Gotta grease the palms, man. I'm a detective. My mark is in the bite. Hello, you one. You shitting me? Prove it, punk. <laughs> uh, look at me, I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Yeah, so all I see is a filthy trash monster who drinks alone and tries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with his mama, too. And the trench coat is just the final pitiful cherry on top of a crap cake. <laughs> wow. Weird hearing that from a fellow with so much gel that he literally sticks to the walls, don't you find? Shut your mouth, and I'll stuff your trash tail in it. Oh God, this is getting <laughs> this is getting a little rough. Ugh, oh, you're so ugly when you're angry. Stop chatting about my face. Don't look at it. Mm. Someone in that club needs my help. You understand that concept? So you're, you're a good Samaritan? And who's gonna save your dumbass? Not that I give two fucks. Just, ugh. I'll talk to Hank. Fuck off now. Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> that went weird. What do you want? Here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Oh, you brought my favorite customer, Striper. 
You can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Uh, thanks. Hmm. Ah, oh, cute. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies, all a little too high-end for my taste. Well, you're unusual. Hmm, not unlike that greeting. Touché. Renee Wilson. Wallace, pleased to meet you. Hmm, that's a fake name. You're too young for Wallace. Calling it, that's a line. He would have said that no matter what name I gave. You're quit. <laughs> You're a wit. Guess that makes us even. Take my card. <laughs> is that a fake card? To what end, I wonder? Renee Wilson is a mask. You wear it well, but your true persona is slipping through the cracks. The entry. What am I running away from? Hmm. Yourself? Annoying suitors? Uh, annoying suitors. And you consider yourself to be one of them? Ah, uh, I'm gonna keep the card. By all means. If you run into something newsworthy, you know who to call. Ah, uh, an investigative journalist. How's that gig? It's a living, usually. Have you seen an otter gentleman here tonight? Oh, that's just kind of... Want another card? <laughs> Oh, it just ended the conversation there. That was weird. Colby. Hey there. You here for Eden Simmons' show, too? I'm so happy to see you're live, finally. Let's see. Oh, do I want to immediately go for, like, hey, have you seen this person? No. Uh, not quite. I'm actually here running a sort of errand. Well, you should hang around for the show. Best performer in the city. Really? That good? Well, I'm probably a bit biased. Yeah, she's great. You sound like a big fan. I got a record player just for her. She's mostly all I listen to. Does she play here often? Time to time. I like the place. It's very classy and the food is great. Uh, I haven't tried the food yet. I'm actually here looking for someone. Oh, who are you looking for? Looking for an otter gentleman. Here's his photo. Let me think. I think I saw someone like that walk in. Thanks and enjoy the show. We're not going to push too much. Audrey? Isn't this too dreamy? Uh, excuse me? God, I love this music. <laughs> I mean, uh, want to dance with me? Uh, I'm looking for my friend, an otter. Have you seen him? I haven't. Sorry. Uh, are you sure you would have been wearing a green tie and glasses? Not really. Leave me alone, okay? Sorry to bother you. Have a pleasant evening. Ingrid. Evening, sugar. Enjoying yourself? In here? How could I not be? Uh, we aim to please. So you work here? Sure, honey, but not for the likes of you. Uh, you mean my kind? Don't get cute. I don't care what kind you are, as long as you pay and behave. Huh, I promise to behave. Good boy. Uh, but I'm actually here to meet with a friend. How touching. They regular? German? He's usually here like clockwork. Maybe I've seen him. What's he like? Uh, he's an otter. Doesn't sound like you know your friend very well. He wears glasses, green tie, green hat. Sounds more like you're describing a wanted man. Why are you looking for him? Uh, for drinks. You could try asking the bartender. Or Miss Bloodworth. Uh, let's see. Uh, thanks for your time, Miss. Call me Ingrid, Mr. How rude of me. Wallace. Mr. Wallace. I hope we see you again soon. Goodbye. Ooh, I like them. Clarissa. 
You look a little lost. It's that obvious? It is to me. It's not my usual scene. And what brings you here tonight? You're not a troublemaker, are you? Uh, do I look like a troublemaker to you? There's an old school saying about books and their covers, but you know, mo know better than me. Uh, well, my cover today is a raccoon in a trench coat. Not too troubling in my humble opinion. How should I address you, Mr. Raccoon? Um, I'm Wallace. Nice to meet you. Pleasure is mine. Then what do, I, what do I do for you? What do I do for... And what do you do for a living, Wallace? Uh, I'm a photographer. Private stuff, mostly. I appreciate creative types. I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I own the bite. Oh, right. The bears. God damn it. They should have seen this coming. Oh. Oh, allow me to say you've got a very cozy place here. Thanks. I do strive to offer a sophisticated experience here. And you excel at Say, what would you say really stands out here? Folks say that our chef's special is to die for, but I pride myself on everything here being equally special. So what brought you here tonight? Uh, I'm just here to meet a friend. Is that so? More of a regular than you? Uh, yeah, but I'll catch up. Keen to make a good impression? Because I heard you were asking me around for something a little spicier than a martini. Uh, I'm after my old friend Jeremy. He's an otter, last name Green. Have you seen him around? And you were just meeting him for a quiet drink? Well, that's our business. I don't believe you, which makes it my business too. Uh, that's your prerogative, I guess. Mr. Wallace, if that's your real name. Playing coy clearly doesn't suit you, and it is certainly not appropriate for my establishment. I suggest you take your business elsewhere. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think we chose the wrong path. Great. Uh, we'll just keep going. Um, I'd rather stay. Oh, I must insist. Or should I ask Hank to insist instead? He can be oh so persuasive when he's angry. Not late. I'm blowing this joint. Thank you. Perhaps me and the real you will see each other again sometime. Don't count on it. Damn. Find a way back inside the bunny. Okay. Clarissa Bloodworth. What's her deal? I need to find another way in. Okay, it's probably somewhere in the black back alley. It's probably the door here. I got kicked out. Or, how did it go? Did you find him? Oh, I got kicked out. Oh, Howard. How'd you manage that? Uh, I think I poked the bear. The bouncer? I meant Clarissa Bloodworth. Oh, man. What did you do? She's upset. You better get used to watching your back. Oh, that's what I figured. How do I get back in there? Now, hold up. You said you didn't get into cases like this anymore. Uh, ooh, we could go for the bomb. Uh, Larry, something is wrong, and I need to find out. Jeez, I would recommend against it, but you do you. So any other ways in? The truck over there just arrived, and some fellows entered through the back door. I also heard voices coming from the roof, saying, so they must have, had, they must have a door up there. Uh, tell me about the back door. They have a little intercom box. You ring, they pick up. And if you're someone they're expecting, they buzz you in. Any clue on how I can become someone they're expecting? Uh, no idea. Maybe they use some sort of a code? You're the detective, not me. Uh, tell me about the door on the rooftop. Well, most of these old buildings have one. Problem is, how are you going to get on the roof? Uh, is there a fire escape? You could give me a lift. Nah, no fire escape. And the bite is too hot. Are there any smaller structures you can climb first? The press stand. Whoa there, that could work. Start with the press stand, go to a pansy, and proceed along the roofs. But you should know that Bo is kind of a dick nugget. 
That's the most accurate description of Bo I've heard in my life. You're welcome. Anyway, I suggest talking to him and see if he's, oh, he'd be up for it. Alright, you gotta go find Bo then, I guess. We haven't met a Bo yet, right? What do we got? Luscious. Fur trimming, claw clipping, back scratching. Okay, I love... I'm told to enter crouch mode. Why do I have to go into crouch mode? $14.99 for a trim? I'll stick to the mirror, a pair of scissors, and a large whiskey. Ah, oh, crap. Downey's on duty in the booth up ahead. I can't deal with him right now. Let's see, drugstore. Does he keep looking one way, or does he turn? Quico Mart. Ah, uh, sit. Feeling peckish? I got sweet and savory. You can mix and match. Make your own trail mix. How about it? Oh, do you have unshelled pumpkin seeds? Of course. Got salted and unsalted. Each bag is worth a half loon. But I'll give you a three for a loon. It's a steal. Uh, I'll have one. Say, you hang around Granville often? I'm here from time to time. Can I help you with something, sir? I need to find a way into the bite. Fancy jazz bar? I assume you tried the front door? Uh, got kicked out through the front door. Oh, uh, maybe there's a back door. I really don't know the place very well, sorry. Uh, you're itching to ask something. Go ahead. Um, why'd you get kicked? Why'd you get kicked out, sir? Uh... They didn't like that I was snooping around. Why were you snooping around? Uh, I met someone special. They're inside that bar. Oh, a love story. I love love. I'll tell you more if you tell me how to get in. Sorry, sir. I really wish I could help. I would if I could, I swear. But I was being truthful before. I don't know any way to get in. Ever been on the rooftops? Uh, no, sir. Wish I could be, more... be of more help. But I've never been up there myself. I don't know. Uh, no problem, kid. Thanks. Poor sir, can I offer you some feeds? No thanks. See ya. I thought we bought some. We did. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, Mackenzie and Sons. Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Foxy murder. Once I got punched by a guy in, in a fedora, who then puked all over my new coat. Ah, memories. Garbage bin. Let's see, socks, takeaway boxes, cigs. Aha, a ticket to the bite. Thanks, trash bin. Oh my god. Can we get in with that? Bo. No, I, I want to do the rooftop one. We've already gotten kicked up once, and the, bartet, the uh, bouncer has probably already been alerted. Good day to you, friend. Fancy some French, some fresh news? Anything good happening for a change? For a loon, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. I just want the headline. Front pages today are all grade 8 parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. How is that news? It's the same every year. No way. The folks are different this time. They're different every time. I'm gonna sell mounds of nibbles. Drop by. Uh, one more thing. I'd like to climb your stand, please. Absolutely not. Do you know how much time and effort it takes to keep the stand in good condition? Come on, Bo, I need this for work. You're working on one of them cases? I don't want to be involved. It's not decent. Why in Shepard's name would you need to climb this press stand anyway? Come on, Bo, I'll help you out. I'd help you out if our roles were reversed. Now that you've mentioned it, maybe you can help out with a little issue I've been having. Spill it. I need that seed selling Pika Hawker off Granville. Can you do that? Sorry, who? That stinking Pika was a cart by the clothes store. He's just a kid. Why is he a problem? This rodent on wheels doesn't have to worry about allowance, rent, or utilities. He sells his nibbles dirt cheap and poaches my business. You sure he's evading allowance, though? How else would someone profit off those prices? Uh, so what do you want me to do about it? I want that damn rodent off Granville. Can you take care of that? Not really my style, Bo. Scratch back, man. Scratch back, mine, yours. 
<sighs> You're lucky I'm desperate. Wish me luck. Hopefully we can uh, kindly convince the kid. I don't want to like spook him off. He's like a friendly kid. Uh, back for more? Hey, listen, I have a strange favor to ask. Uh, okay. Did you leave Granville? At least for tonight? Uh, I'd rather not. Thing is, Granville's a great sales spot at this time of night. Uh, Bo wants you off his turf. Oh, well, of course he does. He thinks we're rivals. Well, screw him. What did he promise you? Uh, remember I asked you about the rooftops? What's that got to do with anything? I found a way. Bo won't let me go through until you leave. Righto, I have a business proposition for you. What if we got rid of Bo instead? Hmm. I like the kid more. I like the kid slightly more. We'll go with it. I'm listening. He thinks he owns Granville because he has a paid-up permit spot. I'm just playing the hand I've been dealt. My mom and I built this cart with our bare hands. I'm just trying to help my family. Where is this going? Bo's a bigot. He hates my guts because I'm a young rodent boy. Doing better than him. I'm a good boy. What's the kicker? Did you know Bo sells adult magazines? Very naughty, illegal ones. Let him know you know him, you know? Uh, you think he'll buy it? He'll blink. Anything to protect his precious permit. Let's team up. Uh, yeah. Let's get this bully off Granville. That's what I like to hear, mister. Go talk to him. I will bow to the shepherd for you. Sure, why not? <laughs> I like the kid more than the than this guy. He he. he <laughs> well, you get rid of that parasite seed. This language here, I don't like. I'm just a kid, man. Don't be an ass. Uh, I think you should leave, Bo. <laughs> what? Uh... I've heard a rumor. There's a police raid coming up. A raid? I'm a law-abiding citizen. Uh, these magazines are outlawed, Bo. I see them. So what? You're gonna threaten me now? Who decides what's lawful anyway? Uh, so Sid's breaking the law, and you're not? That boy. I'll whoop his ass until it's blue. That damn rodent stealing my business from me. An honest salesman. Bo? I will tell the cops if needed. I'm a hard-working rodent business owner. Owner, how, you, how dare you accuse me? I will not stand for this. And you better wrap up for today to be safe. During my peak performance hours? So you can climb my kiosk, you sneaky bastard. Is that it? Uh, yeah, you guessed it. I knew it, bastard. I won't let you ruin my life. Uh, I'm going then. Police officer. Wait, I'll leave. Asshole. Damn you and your whole cunt. Bye. Who's the top dog now, Foxy Murder? Suck it. Fine. Oh. Gave us the prompt what we needed to be even closer. Damn, what a view. Guess there are benefits to risking your life on a rain on rain slicks rooftops. Don't mind me, boys. Like I said, I love the visuals of this game. They're very nice. Wish I could just stay here. Maybe the pigeons would accept me as one of their own. Alright, Green. After all that, you better be in here, you bastard.
A dressing room. Thank Shepard, it's empty. Okay, no turning back now. Inspect mirror table. More Margot Moore. Oh, let's see. Nicely wrapped gift. Mine usually came in a recycled newspaper. Margot Moore is everywhere right now. Fierce lady. Not really my type, though. Happy birthday, Rose. I hope they gave you a day off. Nothing pops in the mouth like Pops can. Is there anything I can take? No clues? Nothing? Okay. Mirrors. Come on, Howard. You can do this. You're doing this. No. Some honey for your tea. Mom swears by it. Greg. Who's Greg? Nice fella. Control the crouch. Enemies can't hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects. Ooh. Gotta keep my profile low and take a peek into one of the rooms. Jez must be there. Oh, come on. Okay, so... Interesting. Oh, come on. <laughs> my bad. Should have realized standing up made noise. I'm dumb. Try this again. Well, that's a cute painting at my upper right. Upper left is pretty cool, too. Damn, did I miss him? Maybe he left something behind I could help with that. That's... There's a green tie stuck behind the frame. I can't get there. What the... A secret lift? Ooh. Green hat? A green hat! Greener must have been... Green must have been here. Now, where's the rest of them? Herbs. Is this monkey butt? It really does stink like a butt. I think I could squeeze into it. Not that I particularly want to, but I can't afford to be picky. I guess here we go. That's a grim looking furnace. What are they burning in here? It looks like the guests of the bite are, are eating well. Pork board. Greg, the inventory was off again. If I catch you stealing food, I'm going to chop off your grubby little fingers. Ooh, intercom. Door. Let's through other rooms in the building. There's a list of extensions close by. Uh, I don't want to deal dial that yet. Sounds like a bad idea. So what's the door? An open vent. I could fit through it if I crouch. Ah. Ooh. Gotta make sure I'm not seen by the guy with the big knife. Smells delicious, though. Mixer. Ooh. Distractions. Interesting. I have lots of mixers here. <laughs> Ooh, another one. Alright. Aww. Can I not get him? I'm gonna get seen by him, so... Shoot. He just kinda looks over and is like, whatever. Uh Uh, maybe I can keep walking, this guy won't see me, right? Damn. Okay. Weird. 
Alright, let's try to call dial the kitchen. Uh, order large pizza, pineapple on top. Pineapple on pizza, are you crazy? Wait, who is this? Don't go anywhere. I think somebody's coming. Alright, there we go. Hopefully that gets him out of that part of the kitchen. Yeah, there we go. I think that mixer was supposed to interrupt that guy again, but it kind of didn't work. Oh yeah, there's the intercom right there. I see it. Alright. Some kind of locker room. Better keep moving. Ooh. Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker? Maybe. You. <laughs> Here's a family favorite. Ape's Delight. The Citizen, Rising Star, Andrew, West, pushes trawlers to final VS Starlings. Ooh, hello. We got a puzzle. We got multiple puzzles. Five. Starlings versus trawlers. Aww. Oh. Wait. Four. Black, red, white. Here? I think it goes there. I think this goes here. Uh, okay. Wait, then does this go here? Bye. Oh. Square, circle, diamond, triangle. So square... I think this is a square. So is that zero? Zero, four. Zero, four, five, one. Zero, zero, four, five, one. Greg, the turnkey is missing again. I better be here when I get back. I think it's my ticket out of here. Seems to need a turnkey. Wow. Zero, four, five, one. Ooh. There we go. It's so cold down here. Where are the lights? Oh my fucking what? It's a naked dead otter. Fuck me. Fucking Jez? Corpse offers you no help. This is Jez Green. I found him. The pieces fit. So Det Det Green's husband lying here. Uh try to ascertain the cause of death. The body shows no obvious signs of violent death. It's just a naked, dead, slightly overweight otter. Maybe they overdosed him? His body lies the body lies there still. It is there, dead. Probably murdered recently. Sniff the bottom. What used to be Jeremy smells like stale booze and cheap cologne held together by a stringent herbal stink. That's enough. I'm going. Get wait. I don't want to get rid of Sid or Skip. Somebody's quickly. Come in, quick. I have to hide. Break here. No, I'm still working on that cut. Ugh, okay, coming. Ooh. Why did you leave over here? I'll just take this key. The turn key. Maybe I'll make it out alive. Sorry, Jez. Even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does.
there anything on the corkboard over here? I think I've got no. Getting the heck out of here. Act one. Act one finished. Act two. Connection. Fuck. 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 They were butchering him. Dispose of the body? Or something worse than that? Is the bite serving people's flesh? They were dismembering corpses and putting them into boxes. I've heard stories about ritualistic cannibalism in the past. Fuck. Every time I close my eyes, I see him lying there. What the fuck am I going to do? This is so, so fucked. Uh, I have a duty to do something. But what the fuck can I do on my own? Uh, I have to stop anyone else being butchered like that. Great idea. Just ask Clarissa, Clarissa Bloodworth nicely. I'm sure she'll understand my concern. Uh, I could go back get some evidence. I was lucky to make it out alive the first time. I'm not going back in there, I can't. This might be the most important case I've ever had. But is, is it worth the risk? No, uh, I think the police would probably be in on it. The high clientele, the high class place with um, a well-known crime family. Uh, if the classically, it's going to be the police are involved in helping keep it covered up uh, and in business. It's, it is a detective noir game, after all, so... Uh, what am I going to tell Odette? How about the truth? Uh, drag it out. Say that I'm still looking for him. No idea why he was killed. Maybe I'll find her some proper answers. I'll call her and wing it. Maybe it's for the best that he's gone. Why Jez? What did he do? Did he have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time? Hope he's not the first. How many people has Bloodworth killed? Uh, impossible to know for sure. Maybe I don't even want to know. I should tell the police. Is that really going to work? Uh, yeah, see, Bloodworth probably has some sort of immunity. No way she's doing something like this without someone high up covering for her. What would I even tell them? Hi, I've broken the private property. I'd like to report a butchering. Uh, they'd probably arrest me for trespassing and ignore the rest. Yeah, I don't want to answer the questions they'd ask me. So the police are out of the question. Think, Howard, think. I have no clue what to do. I'm useless. Why me? Fuck this. Maybe if I drink enough, I'll forget about it. Uh, I'm a fucking coward. I wonder if any of those choices get me to not drink. Oh, well, it's empty. Fuck this. Figure out what to do with my life. Well, that's not quite the turn I thought. Someone has been using this as a public toilet. Not sure flipping a coin would help. Why, like wish. Is that... Has that same herbal stink to it that... Ugh, no. Hey, pussy boy. Let's have a little chat. Oh, hi, guys. Cut to the chase. Just want a friendly chit chat. Got any loons for your new friends? Uh, I only make detective money. You think we're scared of cops? 
I'm not a cop. I'm a private investigator. I'm horrible. You lying. Better be honest. Honesty takes you places, you heard? Uh, yeah, like here. Maybe I'll quit being honest. Quit song, pussy boy. You think I'm stupid? Do you think you're stupid? What? I should figure it out. I figured out how to take your shit, too. <laughs> you're a genius. Congratulations. I'm gonna take your money without doing the work. So I'm smarter than you. Now buckle up, bitch. Get fucked. Hello. Ah, uh, that the the um investigative journalist. Ooh, that's right, the investigative journalist. Renee. Okay, Howard Loter, we're safe here. You can relax. Are you sure no one followed us? I'm sure. Well, let's talk. What about? All right, let me get things started. Go ahead. I'm a writer. I've been researching Clarissa of Bloodworth for a book on power and influence I'm working on. Who are you working for? Myself. As for my funding, there's a guy, a rich, important asshole. It's an ego trip for him, but he knows I don't like being told what to do. Who's the guy? The name wouldn't mean anything to you, but he thinks the book will make him look good. And dish the dirt on his rivals. <laughs> and are you going to make him look good? No. Trick will be letting him believe that I have. You always tell it like it is, huh? When the time is right, especially when someone really needs telling. Let me guess. Everyone needs telling. Only the bad guys. The book I'm writing is about power and influence. How they work, how you get them. My end goal is to discern who really holds the most influence in the city. Uh, sounds like you're in way over your head. Maybe, but I feel like I could really make a difference with this book. I was really done the work before. Why are you interested in Bloodworth? She's maybe the most unofficially powerful person in the city. Since she took over as head of her family, she's been expanding. New drugs, high-profile visitors to the Bight, and more. Drugs? Specifically, monkey butt. Incredibly potent, super addictive. She serves the clean variety at the Bight, and the shittier version of it is turning up on the streets. It's a stupid fucking name. I think it's smart. Makes you giggle. You tell your friends, then they're curious. Boom. It loosens up the tongue. Which, for someone like Bloodworth, would serve a purpose. What kind of visitors are you talking about? Did you know there's a VIP lounge upstairs at the bar? Super exclusive. Some real influential guys have been seen there. I'm talking top bankers, senior police, and even apes. I don't remember the last time I saw an ape in person. They prefer to stay out of the spotlight these days, but I saw one into the bike just last week. What would an ape be doing at the bike? Either having a good time, or Bloodworth has some powerful friends. So, you're some sort of Bloodworth expert? You could say that. I've never talked to her directly, though, and you have. But she like up close? Uh, smart. She could see right through me. Yeah, that's my impression, too. She wouldn't get that far without knowing how to read people and their intentions. Uh, let's move on. Mm-hmm. How'd you find me at the park? Well, I left the bite just after you got kicked out. Saw you running around. I wondered what madness you were up to. Yeah, I was pretty hot under the collar. Anyway, I staked out the back alley just in case. Twenty minutes later, later bingo, a puking raccoon. Uh, could have just been usual back alley puking. Then I followed you, hoping to ask you what happened. Not sure why I let you drink that whole bottle first. Uh, why'd you found me? Let's hope it was worth my while. Why am I here? What do you want from me? First, I want you to trust me, like I trusted you just now. What did you find at the bite? Uh, I don't want to get anyone else wrapped up in this. Wouldn't it feel nice to share the burden with somebody? 
Uh, you wouldn't believe me anyway. I'm here to listen. I can help. What did you find? It's a long story. Start from the beginning. On our way here, you told me you're a P.I. What led you to the fight in the first place? Uh, my case. What was the case? Uh, client confidentiality. Are you serious right now? I shared some sensitive information with you. Do me the courtesy of trusting me, Howard. Ah, uh, fine. A woman hired me to shadow her husband. She basically saved me, so... Mm. Why? What was his deal? Not sure. That's what I was trying to find out. I see. Did you find him? Ah, uh, yes, his corpse. What? Where? In the bite's basement. They were cutting my target up into pieces. What the fuck? There were other bodies hanging from the ceiling. Dot dot dot. I saw boxes of flesh. It wasn't just one bone. One body. Are you fucking joking? I wish I was. Let me get this straight. Bloodworth is cutting up people in the basement of the bite and then putting them into boxes? Uh, hence the puking. I wouldn't put killing people past her. But this? Why? Uh, one or three. One or three. Uh... Maybe it's a power thing. Or fetish. Everything is about power with her. A fetish? If she wasn't cutting them up herself, it seems unlikely. Uh, I didn't ask for this. I'm not a fucking murder detective. Okay, well, it really was an eventful night for you. What are you going to do now? I've got to get my shit together. Exactly. Then what's our plan? Uh, since when is it our plan? Since I followed you through the city all night and rescued your soggy ass from a puddle, I have a proposition. Uh, what is it? I want to invite you on an adventure. Uh, can you be more specific? Work with me. Let's find the truth about Bloodworth. She's clearly more dangerous than I thought. Uh, she is, but what can we do? Why is my the frame rate of my uh my rig? I think the game's got a doing some weird stuff to my rig. Uh, to my avatar. It's a kind of um, low frame. It's very weird. It's probably in the um, full screen mode I'm in right now. Uh, I'll probably resize this and put it into a window and see if that helps. Because this is on a full screen, a borderless full screen, and it seems to be doing kind of weird things right now, so mess with that after this. Alright. I've never had a partner before, but my gut feeling says I can trust you. You found something that I couldn't. And you owe me one. Uh, good, because we clearly can't trust my gut. Just imagine doing your thing while I work behind the scenes. Teamwork. Also, I'll pay. Uh, Felicia will be looking for me. If she is, I can help you stay one step ahead of her. I'm smart and know her modus operandi. I'll keep you safe. Uh, yeah, you're right. Okay. I don't have a frame counter in the game because, um... Um, NVIDIA's shadow play stuff likes to not do everything I tell it to. It just likes to not put up the counter 90% of the time. I'm amazed shadow play works as often as it does. Now, tea time. Mind brewing some? Uh, but I'm the guest. You do it. And I'm the mastermind. Pulling the strings. Get breathing. Ah, uh, sure, boss. Okay, we're going to hit escape here for a moment. Let's go to settings, visuals. Let's turn this down to 1600 by 900 in a window. Apply. I'll keep those settings. Let me go over to OBS. Size is proper. Oh yeah, okay. It looked to be it was the full screen effect. It was the uh, the window full screen was was being is being handled kind of oddly by the game. Uh, because now OBS is showing a flat sixty frames per second, which is my max up, which is what I've set it to max for a uh, premium. Uh, before it was 
going between 30 and 45. Which is giving really weird chunking on my avatar. So we'll just keep it in the window like this. It doesn't need to be full screen. Alright. Make it stick. Turn the cowl on. Which tea would Renee, Renee prefer? Uh, I'd say green minty tea. Refreshing and clean. I don't know how to feel about her. Time will tell. I'll watch closely. Maybe I should deserve a friend. She seems curious, smart, and kind. It's nice to have someone like that around. Put on the kettle. Coming right up. Boxes. You move. You just moved in. Corkboard. I have a similar one in my office. Uh, no good investigator should be without. Where are we? Docks. Not the most picturesque part of the city, but at least it's hard to find. Oh, kettle. Turn the kettle off. Green tea, thank you. Don't burn your tongue. Uh, way ahead of you. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> so the case. We need to figure out what happens to that flesh. Did you see the Starling Cider delivery truck in the bite alley? Yeah, I think I saw it. Ooh, we could have dug around in that truck. I forgot about that. You think what I'm thinking? Or are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, the truck smuggles the flesh away. Right. Where are you going with this? What if I told you it's not a real Starling Cider van? Uh, what if you told me why? I'd seen it a few times while researching the bite. It's a good fake, but you could tell up close. Uh, how did you know it was a fake? I love the pear cider, don't judge me. And the logo just didn't look right. Up close, the colors were off, too. So where does it deliver to after the bite? Well, luckily there are people you can pay to keep an eye on things. Long story short, I know it delivers to somewhere in Gastown. Uh, people like me? No, more like streeties and teenagers with too much time on their hands. I have a little network of friends. They didn't see the exact delivery location? No, my informant tracked it to the main commercial block, then lost it. But I figured out that it spends the night in the bite alley before going to Gastown the next day. Ah, uh, so it'll be in Gastown tomorrow? Yep. You should figure out exactly where it delivers and investigate. We have to learn where that flesh goes. Ah, uh, so it's a stakeout. Sure. We'll look, look for where Starling is stopped. It's a fake truck, but the right place will probably still sell it to avoid his suspicion. That'll help you narrow things down. That's some good detective th thinking, Renee. Thank you. It's a needle in a haystack, but that's all we have for now. Uh, it has to be done. The only thing to fear is fear itself. You can do this. Uh, Clarissa could be tracking me. You already compromised your safety. But what's the point in stopping now? You've got nothing to lose. Oh god, do I call Odette or do I call my mom? Uh, hmm. <laughs> Well, uh, I have to call them. Whoever that is, go ahead. The phone is right there. Arrange a taxi to gas. Arrange a taxi to gas town while you're at, at it. I've got a man for that. Be right back. Who? I feel like I should know which ape this is, but I'm drawing a blank. Probably one of the top dogs, which doesn't narrow it down by much. 
Uh, no mm, noodles. Maybe I should... No, stay focused. Eyes on the prize, Howard. I'm related to the case. I wonder what her editor is like. Uh, prominent family leader's death ruled as a tragic accident. The renowned patriarch is mourned by his closest family, brother Clements and daughter Clarissa. Yeah, I don't buy it. So, yeah, keep smiling. I'm coming for you, you monster. A butcher shop right in downtown Granville. Ugh, I don't think I could go back there if I tried. Oh, God. I could call Anatoly. <laughs> no, let's call Odette. Let's see. Uh, Odette, this is a detective Lotor. Sorry to call so early. My husband didn't come home tonight. Did you see him? Oh, man. Like, technically, three is right. But one could have her looking for him now. Shoot. This is some tough choices here. Um, let's go. I have. You're safe now. What? What happened? You must tell me. I'm still his wife. Shit. I don't know which one to do. Crazy. I'm gonna say basil is very, very yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, shoot. None of these are good. <laughs> None of these are. Crap, crap. Basil or baker sheet. Ah. Right, right. Fuck. You'll be okay, trust me. Move on. Goodbye. But please, wait. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, uh, let us call mom, too. Might as well. Lotor residence. Can you answer the phone like a normal person? Howie! Come home and you can answer the phone however you like. Uh, just wanted to hear your voice, mom. Did you have to hear it at five in the morning? Sorry, I've been busy. Work and all that. What work? Do you need money? I have a proper job now, remember? Sure, a job. I just worry about you. What do you need, then? I don't need anything. I'm fine. Well, now, now that you're here, maybe you can help me. I keep seeing these damn spiders under the bed. Spiders, huh? Big ones? Huge. I'm not panicking, but where, where are they coming from? You should take a look for me, because... Uh, maybe later? I won't call for a week, too. Don't worry, okay? Fine, fine. You never have time for your mother. Maybe you will when I die. Mom, I love you. Aw, oh, Howie, I love you, too. Don't skip breakfast and stop smoking. Bye-bye, baby. Oh, time to call Anatoly. Oh, yeah, that's our ride. That's right. <laughs> Tolly! Uh... Uh, it's Howard. You sound very awake. <laughs> Howie, you think I was asleep? Sleep is for when you got no babies. Uh, actually, you sound excited. My son just pooped. Um. Uh, tell him congrats from me. You working today? For you, always. What's hanging? <laughs> it's a per. It's a pear, or a peach. Uh, what was I saying? Pick me up today at nine. I'm paying for the day. You bet. Howie and Polly, the dynamic duo of detective boy partners. Prime Lords, beware. I told you. Uh, uh, Anatoly, please remember to put some clothes on. You the boss. Big day pay. I'll wear a tiny hat if you want. You at your place? No. One second. Renee, what's the address? Tell him to pick you up outside 1640 Alberni Street. That's a block away from me. Thanks. Totally 1640 Alberni. You know what? Yeah, I'm the docks. Wait, Howie, who's Renee? 
Is she? Uh, none of your business. Can't wait. Gotta run, the poopy lad is being cranky. Dad life, drive you soon. Uh, okay, we called everybody. Okay, so, start with the truck. Find where it's going. Call me during and after. I'll write you my number in a minute. Also, who's Odette? Uh, Odette is my client. Elaborate? Uh, the one that hired me to snoop on the guy I found dead in the, bo in the bite. Her husband. Oh, poor woman. Yeah, not sure I handled that well. You did not, but that's okay. We all deal with grief in different ways. Uh, what happens when I find the truck? Our goal is to confirm if it's smuggling flesh outside of the bite, and to where, or to whom. Anything you learn, report to me. <sighs> Got it. I need a nap. You can stay here for as long as you want. This place is my little secret. I'll go home. Uh, meet you back here later tonight? Sure. Speak to you later. Bye, Howard. Be careful out there. Goodbye, Renee. <laughs> I love it. So, what's the case? You know I can't tell you, but this one could make a difference, I think. Wow, we love that for you. Time you stamped your name on the world. H O W A R D. Now, that's not about my name. And the name of your partner stomped just underneath it. T O L Y. <laughs> I like Anatoly. He's he's great. Here we are, Gastown. Shepherd Almighty, what a swanky place. Uh, looks can be deceiving. Doesn't apply to me. You go on unbothered, folks, and I'm going to get some uh, some quality and a totally chill time. When's your truck coming? Uh, we'll see. Kick back in the meantime. It'll be here for you know it. Bring me a magazine or a paper while you're at it. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, it's so hot. I'm so lazy. <laughs> You're telling me. Gas town. Let's see, new objective. Uh, buy a new pack of cigarettes. Track down the fake Starling Cider truck and figure out where the boxes of flesh are ending. Okay. What do we got? Fur furniture store, wood palace. I need a new couch, or any couch. What is this? Uncle Lewis? A liquor shop. Ah. What's that? That's uh back to Gas Town. Let me look at Tuna. Hey friend, I'm Dart I'm Dorton Tuna. I give you fun facts wherever you press my button. Go ahead. Press it. Do it. Eggs are very nutritious as well as a great way to decorate your home. Pardon? What? Okay. Back to the shop. Tuna. Uh, sorry, sir, I'm waiting on a delivery. Would you come back later? Uh, do you still sell Starling Cider? Please come back later. I have to close the shop. Hmm. I just barge in there. The owner is watching me. I can't talk to him again. Damn. Make sure what you get. You should give, especially the ones that have long ears. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, my, uh, few boxes. Okay, there we go. I've been missing parts of the chat because, um, the, uh, chat window was cutting off, like, 20% of the right side for some reason on my, uh, OBS. That was weird. There'd be fox, especially ones that have long ears. <laughs> Alright. That was a birdhouse up there. That's cute. Sean. 411 electrical. Cool. Yeah, I'm on my smoke break. Uh, That's fine. I'm just passing the time. Well, heck, aren't we all? You gave up on philo philosophy classes to work here, huh? Whatever. Jeez. You're not from around here, huh? I get around. I get all over everything. Guess it wouldn't kill me to make small talk once in a while. So what's up? 
Uh, you own this place? Yeah, I've been here for a couple years now. How are you liking it? The rent here is so steep. It'd be cheaper than West End, but half the folks there don't even have a stable supply of juice. Uh, you gotta follow the loons, I guess. Yeah, it just does my head. I'm selling fancy new colored light bulbs while half the population rely on candles. There are worse crimes, man. The world could end tomorrow, and there's nothing you can do. Ever think about that? Uh, I do all the time. Yeah, brings a person down. What are the locals like? They're all assholes. Why, though? Because they live here. Why electrics? You know where you stand with electrics, unlike everything else in this life. Electric stuff still breaks. And that's good, otherwise I'd be out of a job. I guess it's not that easy. Easier than most things in life. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Green Deli. Ooh, Deli Shop. Delta. Welcome! Can I interest you in some honey nut glazed apple sticks? You got red apple cigs? Surely do. Three looms for a pack of ten. I'll take them, thanks. Here you go, that'll be three looms. Thanks. Uh, you got any Starling Cider? Sure, we got regular, red berry, and pear. Which is the most popular? The red berry is my personal favorite. Feels the most summery. Got anything for favorite customers stashed away? What you see is what you get. It's all quality produce. Uh, oh, I don't want to press that. Okay. Poster. Ocean crunchies. Good for the munchies. <laughs> God dang it doesn't look too fresh. Starling Cider, could this be the place? Oh, I want to talk to the bunny. Okay, guess not. Ooh. Ah, Doc. Oh my, what a magnificent snout, my boy. You've got a bone structure many kinds could only dream of. Uh, thanks, I grew it myself. Of course, your kind has its own inherited problems, but I'd love to take a closer look if you don't mind. Perhaps there's a correlation. Uh, who even are you? Uh, excuse my manners. My name is Dr. Bartholomew Fisher III. Doc for short. I study Jaws. So about those fangs of yours. Uh, what about them? Could you bare your teeth like so? Say, rawr? Uh, show you mine... Show you mine if you show me yours. Preposterous. I am not the subject here. Uh, fine. You ready? Raw. Fascinating. No sign of overbite, slight concave curve to the canines, no yellowing at the base of the tip, but not too pale. Uh, concave curve indicates that your intellect is at a lower level than usual for faux conorcores, but not too bad. Imagine your creative sort. I imagine you're always such an asshole. Stop this pointless quarreling. Let us engage in science. Ah, huh? peace, asshole. <laughs> oh, look who it is. No, Bo. Get your papers. Is that you, Bo? No, I'm Mo. Who's Bo? It looks exactly like you. Weird. Nonsense, I'm unique. This mustache is authentic and original, too. It's a fake mustache, Bo. Shush, go away. You're scaring off my clients. Uh, got anything a lazy taxi driver would enjoy? You want news? Crosswords? Or, or I got a little something-something for grown-ups. I thought dirty mags were illegal. It's a coloring book that has suggestive things to color in. Perfectly legal. Maybe not that exciting. You know what? We're gonna buy that. Just that sounds silly and amusing. Wise choice. Two loons, please. Here you go. Thanks. What's happening locally? What's happening? Like what? Uh. Anything spooky going on? Yeah, man. The pigeons are getting crazy. Someone's gotta poison the bastards, I'm telling you. Or else we're gonna have Geezer Plague Part 2 on our hands. Uh, at least geezers are useful. They deliver stuff. Not for me, they don't. They're dirty birds. I'd... No. Herbert Mouse by his suggestive coloring for him. Hey, it's not for me, it's for Anatoly. 
See, Anatoly asked me to go get him, like, a magazine or something, so I'm just bringing Anatoly a magazine. He didn't specify what magazine, so... Uh, any funny locals I should watch out for? I'm funny and very local. Wanna hear a joke? Uh, sure. What do you call a dead baby- Oh, God. I wish I could unhear that. You stink, I'm joking. But it's also kinda true, huh? Seen any suspicious traffic? Can I just throw Bo in the river? Like, he's getting more and more on my nerves with every conversation. Nope, I got better things to do than count cars. I got news to sell. Need anything else? Bye. No shops for a van to deliver that way. Okay. Okay. Oh no, we went in there. Talk to you. Let's see what's the other way. It's the liquor shop. It's Wood Palace. There's Anatoly. We'll look over this way first. Hotel. The Davio Den Hotel. Not for the life of me. Lily. You got a smoke? Ah, uh, here you go. Just one? Stingy old fart. Uh, seen a star Starling Cider Truck around here? You mean the one that stopped at Lewis's place? Oh, sure. Good old Lewis, right? That guy is a simpering posher. Weakling. You're a regular customer? Uh, know when the truck usually arrives? I guess I see it sometimes during recess. About 1 p.m.? Uh, are you some kind of truck spotter? Thanks for your help. You stay in school. Enabler. Whoops. Didn't realize. <laughs> oh, hey, it's a tiger! I should get that liquor shop, that shit liquor shop quickly. Looks official to me. Impressive. All done, Grandpa. See you next week. Hello, name is Lewis. What can I do for you on this fine day? Uh, hope for something to treat myself. Ah, uh, very good, sir. Are you looking for a dark or a light liquor? Or perhaps that perfectly balanced something in between? Something sophisticated like me. Perhaps sir would enjoy a golden oak. Twelve your case cask aged? I like having the latest trends. What just got delivered? Oh, just boring old starling cider. Nothing special, but you know, other people want what they want. Maybe there are some of the new flavors inside? Uh, or yes, that's possible, I suppose. You really are a Starling fanatic, hmm? I just have to try them, like, right now. Uh, ah, uh, I really appreciate your enthusiasm, but I have to, uh, take inventory, and, uh, there's bookkeeping. Why so flustered, Lewis? Something wrong? Sir, this is my shot. I want to be Haran. I won't be like me. <laughs> One drink. Hey, welcome back, to Tiger. You missed a tiger. I'm sorry. Yeah. Really? I won't be Haran. Is that how you say that? No, I'm pretty sure they weren't a good tiger, unfortunately. But they were a white tiger, it looked like. Uh, in my own shop. Now please, purchase something or leave immediately. <laughs> they were in this side of town and all of these, all the locals are up here are assholes. Ooh, which one do we go? In truth, I'm a journalist. A few questions and I'm gone, okay? Journalist? There's nothing, but if it will make you happy and leave me alone, uh, you got any buyers for those crates? I mean, I haven't even unpacked them. I told you. But, you know, how about a free sample of my own porter? You're not going to get me drunk. 
I just like to share my own brews, that's all. Where are you buying those crates from? Just my usual wholesale supplier. I'd love to only sell my own brews, but sadly people are slow to love them. They add more taste than... than... Ah... Uh, not having money problems, are you, Lewis? That dentist guy was creepy. I don't... It's, I, I'm wondering if it's like, um... Uh, if that's the analog to a phrenologist. Uh, measuring the teeth, the, the shape of the jaw, the shape of the teeth and stuff. It's just a little slow, but the, the parade will make up for it. All those parties, people get thirsty. Have you heard of Clarissa Bloodward? Heard of her? Who hasn't? She owns that bar, The Bite, I think it's called. Yeah, he called me dumb based on my teeth. So yeah, pretty much a phrenologist. Uh, let's see. She own anything else, perhaps? I'm not sure I don't... Uh, I'm not familiar with her business dealings, I'm afraid. Hmm. I know about the flesh, Lewis. Now I need your help. Sir, please, I don't know what, what it is you want to hear, but the shop is my life. It's the only thing that matters to me. Uh, I can help you, but not if you don't talk to me. Talk about what? You wouldn't understand. I mean, if there was something. Uh, you don't have to do this alone. In what? Even if my position is unique, it's not fair. You have no idea. Let me understand. I'm on Team Lewis. He'll just make things worse. Lewis, I'm investigating Clarissa. I've got your back. I suppose if you found a way into the storage room after I dropped this key, I'll take a look. Won't go anywhere. Do we have the key now? Storage area. Great. Uh. I really don't want to open this. Inspect it up close. There's a faded Sterling Cider logo on the side. The box is a simple construction of cheap wood with a flat lid. Look at the lid. The lid doesn't appear to have a lock on it. And there's no obvious way to open it. Now think about the box hard. Really? Well. Uh, inspect the lid. You run your fingers carefully along each edge of the lid. At one point, there is a tiny recess on the side. Lever up the lid. Well, that effort, the lid pops out from its groove. Look inside. Beneath the lid are a number of small packages, individually wrapped in thick, silvery paper. Uh, come on, don't puke again. You can do this. You peel back a layer of the silvery paper to reveal a neat square of flesh. Inspect the flesh. The flesh is light pink with a striated texture. Inspect the flesh. There's a melange of intoxicating scents, sweet, fatty, with notes of acidic tang. Fuck this, I've seen enough. In order to inspect back here. Storage area. You, so you saw it? Illegal fish fillets? Dangerous black market. You think I don't know what fish smells like? Uh, some don't smell as fishy as you think. When did you find out what was in the crates? Only recently. I was told not to look, but I had to know. If only I hadn't, then I could just pretend. Tell me any, everything. No one else will give you this chance. But but if she finds out I told anyone, I'll get thrown over the wall, you understand? You tell a soul I'm worse than dead. How did you end up with boxes full of flesh, Lewis? I didn't have a choice. Fate has conspired against me. But did you try and fight fate? I thought of everything. This was the only option I had that protected the ones I love. What does Clarissa have on you? It's just, why me? Why her? Neither of us did anything to anyone. 
just worked hard and paid our taxes. The damn city's fault. Why isn't her medicine free? Her? Someone close to you? Miss Bloodworth is keeping my sister alive. She pays the medical bills. I even thought about selling the shop, but the loons wouldn't have lasted. Of course, she found your weakness. Miss Bloodworth may not be gentle, but she has a heart, and she hears everything. I don't believe either of those things. Just don't tell anyone what you know. You can't. Leia's blood will be on your hands. Uh, what do you do with the boxes? Nothing. I just look after them until they're re-delivered. Look after how? Uh, they just sit in the storeroom. I'm the only one with a key. Where do the boxes go? A woman calls, asks for the usual. I get one of my boys to deliver the crate to her. I was instructed not to ask questions. Uh, the caller. Who, who is she? Her name is Bajwa. Or Bala. That's all I can tell you, sir. Uh, I can write down the address for you. To my head if Bloodworth hears of this. Uh... Your secret is safe with me, promise. Thank you for understanding, and for listening. Mm, my name is Howard, by the way. Little trust, back and forth. Well, Howard, I don't know about you, but I need a stiff drink. Thanks, but I'll pass. Poor guy. You're missing out. I'm fine by me. Thank you, Lewis. I have to go now. Go? What are you going to do? Uh, it's better you don't know. I was honest with you. Please, you said I could trust you. You can't. You'll be fine. Just please swear you won't tell anyone about this. I can't bear to live in even more fear. I won't. Thank you. Shepard guides you. Uh, sure he does. Like he guided you. I think it's time you left, sir. One last question. When is this Bajwa expecting delivery? Or Bawa, sorry. Well, Joey took a crate over a few days ago. She is expecting a box of cigars today, but I'm not sure about the other crates. Uh, I'll deliver them. I have to meet the Bajwa. Hi, Blackheart. Oh no, the AC's down again? That's not good. Uh, you can't. They'll suspect. And if it gets back to me, Leia, I promise you, this won't get back to you. Give me the cigars. Ah, uh, fine. I can't stop you. My life might be worthless, but other people will suffer if you're not careful. Stay safe, Lewis. Take them. On the house. Good luck, Lewis. Uh, what's up, Brotendo? Really, Brotendo? What? Really? Okay. I got you this. You asked. A coloring book? You think I'm five? It's for grown-ups. Look. Oh, cat ladies. It's nice of you, partner. I'm glad, and you am not your partner. Thanks, Howard. How's my man doing? Very good indeed. Anything that's not shoveling baby poop is a top-notch good time in my book. Family life getting you down? Imagine someone small and loud tugging at your tail and craving attention all day every day. But it's love. Worth it. Uh, yeah, it sounds nice. Love is nice. Weird, but very nice. The second kid soon, huh? In a month. You need plenty of loons to have kids, so I appreciate the gig, Howard. And I appreciate you. Howie, don't make me cry. Uh, so you think having kids is worth it? I don't know. Is there anything else worth looking for? I like that I made a person. When I'm gone, they'll remember me. You won't ever... Oh, no, no. We we ain't person on Anatoly here, man. 
It's hard to forget you, man. I know, that's why we make a great dynamic duo. My unforgettable charms, your face. I gotta go. Next. The traits get delivered to someone called Bajwa. Find out who she is. So Bajwa, huh? Mrs. Tilly. The audacity, you there. What's your name? Why, well, I have half a mind to call the police. Uh, you're a student. <laughs> Wallace Brotor, concerned citizen. Well, Mr. Brotor, if I ever see you around the children again, I'll report you for misconduct toward minors. They ask, but I should have refused. I apologize. Yes, well, it's unacceptable, but you seem contrite, at least. Uh, it's you that I feel most sorry for. Don't try and change the subject. Who exactly are you, anyway? Oh, what difference does it make? Don't test my patience further. Fine, here's my ID. Howard Lotor, you clandestine fiend. What is the meaning of this? I'll... Oops, me out. Ginger. Good afternoon, young lad. Good afternoon. How are the pigeons doing? They're good. Thank you for asking. They know me better than anyone by now. Better than your family? Yes, and they certainly pay me more attention. People have no sense of the value of their elders anymore. Uh, depends on the elder. Well, yes, I suppose you're right. We're all just people after all, aren't we? Yep, we're all lonely together. There's a difference between loneliness and solitude, young fellow. Which are you? For real. I'm solitudinous. Of course, every now and then I wonder if there's someone out there who could be solitudinous with me. Anyone in mind? Just someone gentle and quiet, with an interesting story. Noted. It was pleasant me meeting you. Good day, young sir. You too. Bye. I, I like having little, little, little side chats like that with uh, in games like this. It's always nice. Big clock. Grandfather's steam watching over Gastown as always. Keep it up, old man. Who? Nay. Uh, who's speaking, please? Uh, I got a new lead. Ah, uh, I'm listening. Uh, a lady b named Baha is the buyer. Uh, uh, is the buyer. Any idea who she is? Uh, not yet. She puts in a call to the shop and the boxes get delivered from there. Did you learn where? 350 West Georgia St. Ringabout? An address at the tops. Interesting. Feel like heading over for a house call? Uh, heck yeah, I love peeking into people's windows. Hmm, might not be the best idea to just barge in and confront her. Uh, I have a delivery for her. Oh, good idea. But that won't get you into the apartment. Uh, one thing at a time. You do seem to have a habit of winging it. But hey, whatever works. I just hope Baha doesn't eat me. You're gonna be fine. Call me after and head straight home, okay? Home? Oh? Well, it is where you live now. Right, speak soon. Harold. Hmm, now I... But where did... Um, uh, you okay there? Oh, don't mind me, Sonny. Just wish I could remember... Uh, remember what? If I dropped it here... Uh, we all lose stuff. Don't beat yourself up. But without it, what if I forget? About what? Uh, about Irma. Uh, memories of true love never disappear. You get to my age and learn that's not true. There are times now where I realize it's been days since I've thought of her. Uh, are you very lonely? You have any family? No. Just me for 17 years. I do miss having someone to share an afternoon with. Feed the pigeons, do the crossword, you know. I gotta go. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'm not moving away from the high street yet. Alright. 
We can run as fast as the car. Uh, uh, what's up, Rotendo? Let's drive, Tully. Yeah, we're two. Uh, Tops, let's go. What's new, Chief? Did you crack the case yet? No, got a big lead, though. Ha! Lead on, partner. Sounds like this is a bigger deal than usual. You're, uh, being careful, right? Relax, I'm not about to deprive you of your best customer. Best friend? Sure. But if you're my best customer, how come you don't tip? Because best friends don't need to tip, Anatoly. It'd be impolite. Polite? Ha! I didn't realize you were part of high society, Howie. You fixing to become a minister? Just watch the road, huh? Welcome to Blue Falls Building. My name is Finn. I'm afraid we have a strict policy of only admitting visitors who have been pre-invited. Uh, I have a delivery for Miss Baba. Ah, yes. There's a delivery boy on the list. She's in apartment one, uh, 1144, 11th floor. Uh, yeah, we don't want to do a uh, chit-chat with them because that's suspicious. Nikki? Hey, what do I look like to you? Um, a lazy rich guy. <laughs> you got that part right, but I worked for it, fool. Uh, doing what? What do you like to know? Well, I did ask. You don't live here. Nope, I'm a delivery boy. Delivering anything I'd like? I don't know. What do you like? Show me what you got. I'll know when, when I see it. Cigars. I can't screw with the packaging. Don't you know who I am? Should I? The name's Nikki. People call me The Wolf. Uh, even your mom? Oh, God. Oh, you're bringing my mother into this? You, to die? Nope. Uh, nope, maybe a little. I don't see a fool like you around here often. Uh, that's because I probably shouldn't be here. Dan, you gonna make me work for once? I'm not making you do anything. No one makes the wolf do anything he doesn't want. I have no idea what's going on. Oh yeah, if you ask nicely, I can get you on, on the wolf hotness level, fool. I'm sure you can. Now we're talking my language. Ever heard of a wolf? Um... I don't have time for it right now, sorry. All right, I can tell your heart's not in it. Go on, off you go. Uh, goodbye then. Well, yeah. <laughs> the concierge said, 11th floor, the residence of Eve. All right, here we go. Notice board. Floor 20 committee meeting this Friday. Looks like a fire escape. Oh, we're probably going to be using that, I'm going to guess. Miss Bawa. Yes? Miss Bawa, I've got a delivery for you. Ah, uh, the cigars? Right here. Uh, can you confirm the recipient's name? I might not get to enjoy them, but I am the recipient. Louise Bawa. You like working here? Do not presume to ask me such personal questions. You can go now. You want to arrange any other deliveries? Louis will know. Or Louise. Louis? Louise. I think both are... Both work. Depends on who it is, I guess. Uh, certainly. Good day, Miss Bala. Oh, it's just the maid. Find out who the apartment really belongs to.
Oh wait, no, I need to go like this. Crouch here. Stay crouched. Flowers. Pretty flowers smell like a warm summer evening. We need to climb up here. Here we should damn my short arms. Oh. Um. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Cozy inside. Okay, I'm being creepy. Take this umbrella. Use the umbrella. Guess I should get rid of it. My pockets are too small. Throw away the umbrella. Screw you, umbrella. The city looks so strange from up here. I bet it's easy to forget real people are struggling down below. Pet the geezer. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. I'm gonna get attacked right now. Oh, I can't pet the dog, but I can bet pet the geezer. I should be right outside the back of the maid's apartment. Who really lives here? Inspect the window. It's closed on a latch. Oh wait, it's actually open the tiniest bit. If I had something thin enough to slide through and lift, well, shit, I don't have anything. Looks like there are renovations going on. Maybe I can find some kind of tool nearby. Funny knife. Hey, there we go. Seriously. Hey, stranger. Uh, hey. Don't care why you're here. Saw you climbing. Nice moves. Uh, yep, been training. Joe's on your butt. Well, it's been a while since I heard that. That's too bad. I'd tell you that every day. You know your neighbors well? Nah, we don't particularly vibe. Why? Dunno, I'm minding my own business. That catnip in your smoke? Yep. Want some? I uh, would love to, but busy. Sure. Bye, baby doll. Bye, gorgeous. Well, that was cute. <laughs> Let's try this again. I bet the putty knife is thin enough to fit. Okay, just about. Easy now. Lift the latch and boom! Now I can lever it open enough to climb through. There's no one inside. Fuck, Howard, you're at it again. This ranks the second craziest thing I've ever done. Just this week alone. I'm in way over my head. I need to quickly figure out who lives here and run. Desk is upsettingly tasty. Oh, hello, mister. Are you lost? Yep, that's right. I'm new. Part of the hired help. You look funny. Eh, I get that a lot. Funny, weird, or funny, haha. -ha. You're a strange one, aren't you? I'm super ordinary. So, what are you doing? Uh, I'm the desk repair guy. Danny says repairs are for suckers who can't afford to replace things. Uh, what does Danny do? My father is the research and development secretary. He is the secretary of research and development. Does he live here? No, we live in our own house, dummy. Right, makes sense. Sorry, first day, I'm still new. When I grow up, I will have hundreds of assistants. 
Can I ask you for a favor? Daddy says a single favor can be priceless, but more than one makes you worthless. I will owe you both one great big fat favor. That depends. What do you want? Uh, my boss will be angry I'm talking to you. Let's keep it a secret. Yes, because you're being lazy instead of working. Yes, so our little secret? Hmm. -mm. But it could be fun to watch you get shouted at. I can do that, you know. Shout! And what do you think they'll say to you afterwards? Nothing, I'm Daddy's favorite. So why weren't you with him right now? We snuck in here. So we have a deal? Fine. You got yourself a deal, mister. Deal, take a peek. Can we sneak out? No, you peek. I don't wanna. I can do it. Thanks, mister. Favor repaid. Sure. Sense of looking knowledge. Ugh, not this guy. The shepherd. Yeah. Oh, they're apes. Bookshelf. Maybe some book secretly opens a hidden room? Peek through the door. Oh, yep. An ape and a lion? A feline? Another ape? Another feline? Cougar? Can't tell. Looks like another feline. Another ape. And then there's the, uh, uh, the, the beaver maid. I don't think it's a beaver. It's a little hard to tell. Can't just call her a cougar without knowing her behavior. <laughs> so, is it clear? Can we go now? Uh, did you see anything strange while sneaking through the dining room? We're in, we were in sneaky mode. Couldn't look much. Do you know any names of the grown-ups? No, I can't tell them apart anyway. They all dress and talk the same. No, we don't want to tell the kids this. Jeez. There's something they don't want you to know. Grown-up secret? We're old enough to know secrets. Tell us. Even if it's scary? Oh yes, tell us. You're hired help. You have to. It's the law. Man, I ain't gonna do that to kids. It's actually just a new herb. Kids like you wouldn't like it. New? You wanna try? I'm sure they'll let you try some if you're good. Delicious. I'm excited. Also, some things can only be appreciated by grown-ups. That's true. Most people can't appreciate the best things. Daddy told you that too? Yeah, and he's never wrong. I'm sure he's not. I'd better be going now. Thanks, mister. Come on, Theo. Laters. The desk is made out of beautiful, expensive, solid wood. You feel like the world can be run from behind this desk. Uh, sniff the desk. The wood is a craft when rubbed with scented oil, redolent of citrus and smoke. It smells of power and success. Uh, feel the desk. It feels like a desk, but you wish you could run your hands over its silky grain every day. Uh, let's search the desk. There are a few closed drawers, an empty mug, a chunky book, and nothing else of note. I <laughs> hope. Let's take the no mug now. Uh, search for hidden compartments. You never seen a desk with a secret compartment. That doesn't stop you from hoping. You find nothing. Ah, oh, give up on finding a cool secret compartment. Uh, open the drawers. They're locked. Whoever owns this desk is taking no chances. Inspect the book. It's a copy of The Nature Within Us by Jordan Rand. Oh no, I don't even want to look at it. One of those hateful books masquerading as egalitarian uh, philosophy that fascists love. Stop searching the desk, select the pile of papers. A quick glance reveals a stack of various documents, letters, and notes, all with annoyingly small print. Grab the papers. Right. The name of the owner of this study should be in there somewhere. No time to look through them here. Leave the desk alone. Right, time to get out of here.
Are you ready to start? Oh, I thought it was him saying that. Never mind. Let's do it. All right. So you borrowed from the summoned study and stole a bunch of papers? Uh, I prefer the term borrowed. Of course. What were you thinking? Uh, there must be something important in here. All right, let's see. Could you read out loud? I think best with my eyes closed. Uh, where do I start? Start small. Something that looks personal. Maybe handwritten? Oh, here's one. Uh, it's a handwritten note on a scrap of yellow sticky paper. Read it. Chief Tanner, I have a priority order for you. Your head of biochemistry is now your head of biochemistry will now report directly to me. Burn after reading. Uh, let's analyze this. Head of biochemistry. What are you thinking? Uh, biochemistry probably means a well-equipped lab. Good point. And you can only find those in Science City. Uh, Chief Tanner. Yeah, who is that guy? Uh, we have a name. Can't you look it up somewhere? I could try it, but maybe I don't have to. What exactly could be the chief of it? He be the chief of it. Report directly to me. Mm -hmm. uh, to get that order, you'd need serious authority. You're right. Maybe the highest. Okay, let's try to draw a conclusion. Chief Tanner must be managing the head of biochemistry. Who probably works in Science City. Who's the buyer, then? The Science Minister. Right. You stole these documents from the Science Minister. Nice, Howard. Uh, shit, do I have to return them? No, they're yours now. So the Science Minister is buying flesh from Clarissa. What is she gaining from this? Fucking Clarissa. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can figure that out next. I'm right here with you. Let's read on. Um, the handwritten men. Oh, wait. We've already read that one. Okay. The R&D report. An official-looking report on Science City branded paper. Let's read it. Research project number 76-5, introductory report. Minister, first analysis of the new sample is underway. Read on. <clears throat> City branded paper, yep. The sample possesses hitherto uncatalogued genes whose functions will require time to isolate via RNA tracking. This can't be rushed, and as I've said before, please have patience. Uh, let's look closely at this. Uh, and catalog genes. Sounds important, right? Uh, are they developing new technology? I mean, sure, but how can you find new genes? Uh, protein analysis. You understood that? Biochemistry stuff? I'm impressed. Yes, proteins and RNA are genetic terms. And our minister hired a biochemist, remember? This can't be rushed, as I've said before. Must be the biochemist we he hired writing this. The science minister is not an easy guy to work with. Sounds right. Like the scientist ha has had to tell the minister to be patient already. Let's look at the other papers. Uh, the RSVP. Science is hard. <laughs> yeah. An envelope containing a single sheet of high-quality paper with neat writing and a signature. Dear friend, I will of course attend our monthly celebration. I can't wait to see what delicacy you've prepared us this time. T N. Uh, let's analyze this. What uh, delicacy you've prepared? What is he talking about? Flesh. Howard. They're eating people. Monthly celebration. What are they celebrating? Uh, some sort of ancient cult tradition. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised. Dear friend, who is Tien? Isn't that the president? Theodore Nashville? Are you fucking kidding me? No way. We're done with this document. Other documents? Oh, more. Letter to Daddy. It's an illustrated letter with written in colored pencil. 
read it. Daddy, I love you very much. Please give money for my birthday. Please. Please give. Please give. I want to buy a lizard. Bye! Oh, your Kids are cute. Kids are cute, even when they're raised by monsters. Oh, look, look. I want to buy a lizard. What's it tell you? Uh... Why won't the kid just ask for a lizard? Uh, business mentality. Or a kid's lying and wants to buy something else with the money. Let's move on. Uh, briefing log. A leather dossier with a golden city of Lundbrook engraving. There are a few pages inside. Uh, my right honorable ministers, I wanted to summarize my official recommendations on the new street drug in circulation called, uh, named Monkey Butt. Despite the insulting name, I don't believe it to possess significant addictive qualities. There's no widespread, widespread risk to the public health, so criminalization is not warranted. Ooh, interesting. I will continue to monitor the situation with the cooperation of the police. Your dossier includes the detailed toxicology breakdown. Oh yeah, let's analyze this. No widespread risk. Do you believe him? Uh, he manipulated the test results. Bro, we know that he has access to a laboratory. All right, honorable ministers. Yeah? This report was seen by the highest level of officials. Yeah, if they accept the report, those drugs are basically legal. Criminalization is not warranted. What does it imply for Clarissa? Uh, the recommendation benefits Clarissa. If Monkey Butt is being pushed at the bike, then yeah, that's a lot of heat off her. Let's look at the other papers. And then last is the police. Blank page of paper with a small typed note, and no other details are produced. Esteemed fellow minister, the recent reports of disappearances from West End have a clear connection. I don't know why you want them left alone. There's only so much we can turn a blind eye to. If this becomes a scandal, it's both our asses. Fix it. Let's analyze this. The recent reports of disappearances from West End have a clear connection. What's the connection? One person is responsible. The minister or someone close to them can be the one. Uh, I don't know why you want them left alone. Why does the science minister even care? Uh, they're all being turned into flesh. Potentially, but it's a stretch. It's clear proof the science minister is covering something up, though. What does he imply? The science minister has a way to stop police from investigating. To a point. But if the disappearances don't stop, it's somehow bad news for the science minister. Let's look at the other papers. Hmm. I want to look at the police note again. What about these disappearance? I fucking knew there was a prop. There, there was a pattern. This is huge, Howard. All right, I think we're done here, Renee. Right, Howard. Exactly is the relationship between Clarissa and the minister. Ooh, that's the question. Who has dirt on who? Uh, I want to say they are partners. What does the minister want? What is he getting from all this? Drugs? Flesh? Flesh. Judging by what you saw in the dinner RSVP, these ministers and maybe the apes at large are considering lower class people a delicacy. Disappointed, but not surprised. Fuckers. And Clarissa is enabling this. What is she getting from it? Immunity. Eight ministers are our girl's best friends. Our girl's best friends. If the science minister helps to protect her from the police or any other meddling in her business... Uh, then she gets to safely produce drugs. Yes, Howard. She has an almost absolute power while the minister is on her side. The drugs are pretty straightforward. It's the missing people bothering me most. Ah. Should have done that one. Should we look into the West End thing? Yes, I'll get you the reports, names, addresses. We have to see if these people are connected to the minister or Bloodworth somehow. We investigate West End. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? They're moving fast. We have to act now. There must be something else we're missing. An even bigger benefit to Clarissa. Oh, something only an ape can give her. Maybe. There's got to be a reason that the science minister specifically she's working. 
Science stuff, then. That would explain why it's the science minister she's interested in. He was researching something, right? Well, what was it again? Uh, proteins. Right, proteins. They found new genes in a secret lab in Science City. Secret research only the minister and one scientist knows about. I agree. It's crazy suspicious. Could Clarissa be interested in this research for her own purposes? Uh, it might be powerful. She wants power. Whatever power it is, she has to have it. We must look into it, but getting into Science City will be hard. Into the most secret building in the city? You serious? No. I guess we could try. But first, West End. We're uncovering something incredible, Howard. This partnership is working out. Yeah, we're really doing it. Oh, great. Our takeout arrived. Nice, I'll get it. Uh-oh. What? Pardon? I, I don't understand. What? Hong Kong. Uh, here's your, here's your loot, buddy. Hong, fly free. Drink with me. Something stronger than tea this time. Uh, I'll stick with tea, thanks. Do you mind if I crack open the gym? Uh, I just prefer my hair head clear for this. Sure, but it's a little treat to myself. I've earned it. You have. I'll join you, but just with tea. Cheers. Cheers to you, Renee. To me. So, how are you feeling about this case and everything? Uh, I still can't wrap my head around it all. I know. I feel like I've never done anything more important. I'm glad you're by my side. I couldn't do this without you. Thank you, Howard. I feel like all my past work, my whole life, has been leading to this moment. You were a writer before, right? Yep. Spent my life trying to find the words for how and why everything is so fucked up. Well, it fucks up how? Clarissa isn't just a bad apple. Everything is connected. She's a symptom of a system totally rigged towards the status quo. Uh, what do you mean? Do you think it's a coincidence that you found Jeremy being butchered? The rich are literally eating the poor, Howard. Do you think it has something to do with class? It has everything to do with class. How do you know that? You know, I always fit in. People liked me, yet I felt disconnected. I was sleepwalking. Then one day, I something cracked inside of me. What happened? Tell me. Last year, I was reporting for the City Herald. There was an incident in West End. It made me into who I am now. What incident? Pipes burst in one of the older buildings. The tenants called sewer services. It took them three hours to arrive. People boiled alive. I tried to report on it and got fired. What the fuck? All those people in areas like West End docks are invisible, neglected, and they die every day. This city is built upon their blood. I can't take it. I have to do something. I feel the same way after the bite. Good. Nothing will be the same again. You won't be able to pretend to be normal anymore. I don't want normal anymore. Right. It's time to change things. Finally. I believe in us. Have you... How have you been sleeping? Since... Uh, not been getting much. I have this recurring nightmare. I have one too. Hmm? What is it? Um... I'm falling from a multi-story building. It's on fire. Mm -hmm. And I just keep falling until I wake up. Classic. What about yours? I'm running through thick black mud. Then it swallows me whole. Wow. Yeah. Are you close with your mom? Why are you asking this all of a sudden? I believe we've become who we are in childhood. And I'd like to get to know you. Uh, yeah, we are close, unfortunately. Oh. Um, it's complicated for me. Complicated how? It's hard to explain. She's my mom. I have to love her for that, I guess. 
No one is owed anything from you, especially love. Parents can be assholes too. What's her deal? Uh, she's just been spiraling for years. She's had a hard life. My mom doesn't care what I want. I'm just something for her to project her needs onto. Do you feel guilty about it ever? No way. I'm not her therapist. I didn't ask to be born, and I refuse to shoulder the burden of her insecurities. Maybe I should try thinking about that. If someone brings negativity into your life, let them out. Works every time. I'll think about it. Do you ever feel like no one really, no one truly knows you? Uh, nobody ever will. Right. I can only know you filtered through my own perception. That's not really you. Just a projection inside my head. Uh, it's close enough. I guess. It's just a bit lonely. Uh, we're lonely together. That's nice. Uh, are you scared? Always. I get it. Uh, me too. You're not alone. Yeah, Howard, I'm so tired. Do you mind if I sleep here? Close your eyes. Tuck in. Sweet dreams, Renee. Work for it again. I mean, maybe it would be good to have some uh, steak out food. Power. Focus. No extraneous noodles until the case is solved. Looks like, looks like she hasn't called them yet. Only staying on track for me. The best and the brightest minds in the city. What are you up to in there, exactly? What are you hiding, you bastard? Bloodworth was doing it right under our noses this whole time. Still makes me sick to think about it. What are you playing at, Bloodworth? I don't like this. I don't like you. Article makes no mention of where they found him. Makes you wonder. Take a drink. Okay. No sleep yet. I want to keep looking around. I like snooping. Okay, now it's sleep time. Boop, boop. Hey, thanks for the boop. Stay hydrated. Yes. Howie, you okay? You're brooding more than Essie after I forgot the dishes. <sighs> Lots on my mind. So how about you share instead, huh? Might do you and that overworked brain of yours some good. <sighs> the case gets getting bigger. Maybe I'm out of my depth. And then there's Renee, who... Ooh-wee, that lady. Ha! No wonder you're daydreaming. Nothing like that. We work well together. Respect it. Good working together and mutual respect? Not bad ingredients if you're looking to cook up a little something. Something is all I'm saying. That you, Street Hawk? Uh, since when do I have a toad name? Starting now, Street Hawk. Anyway, how's it been going over there? Uh, not so great. I'm near the apartments of the last two leads now. You already spoke to Mary, Miranda, and Shelly? I tried everything, but they had total had a total mistrust of strangers. Damn. Well, stay positive. Maybe Beverly or Bill will talk? Maybe, I don't know. What if this... Uh, it's worth a shot. I got a good feeling. Two more doors, and they're in the same block of apartments. Then you can come back and put your feet up. Uh, I hope the building has an elevator. We should get you some insoles. Maybe you have high arches. Anyway, think positive. You got this. And if I don't got this, then we'll figure something else out. Good luck. Remember to lock, knock gently and let me know how it goes. Thanks, Renee. Talk soon. West End. One sec, let me go get another drink, which is over there. Got it. Just a second. Okay. There we go. Alright, what do we got? Strong Paw Jim, Dr. Aliyev, Bunny, Gabriel, 
I'm busy. I hear you. Bye. Dr. Leo? West End, un what do West End Doctors. Jacks of all trades, masters of none. So what are our objectives? Speak to Bill Corby about his daughter Diana. Speak to Beverly Pham about her daughter Leslie. And find a connection between the missing girls from West End. Okay. Superintendent. Who are you? Uh, let's see. I'm a private investigator. Name's Howie Luther. Detective? Just like that? Like what? This is how a detective dress. Because I am one. You're trash. That's what you are. Your socks are trash. Hey, leave the socks out of this. I'm going inside now. You want to go in? Tell me who you're visiting. Beverly Pham, okay? You don't give that poor woman any trouble, you hear? She's had enough of it five lifetimes already. I'll be watching. I actually love your socks, sorry. Oh, um, thanks. I guess your trench coat has a certain shabby cheek to it, too. Thanks. Peace. Aw. Aw, oh, we can't choose to uh, take the stairs <laughs> just to have more complaining. Alright, up the elevator we go. Control panel. Floor 8. Okay. Luxie. Beat it for my dad. Do you know any of the missing girls from around here? No, we don't fuck with that crowd. How come? We're the Dead Mice Collective, bitch. Oh, you tell them. We got a self governing anarcho countercultural movement. Do you have an agenda? Damn right, it's called the Mouse Grade. I love that name. We disrupt the hood, challenge people's minds. Amazing. Mice get fucked. What? Why the name? We hate mice. Oh, never mind, I don't like them anymore. Wait, aren't you rats? We are, and we hate mice. It's a metaphor. You wouldn't understand. Uh, good that you're having fun with your club. We're not a club. Get gone, Granddad. <laughs> what? Ha. Uh, ha? Huh? You understand. This is good. I'm pro. Good for you, kid. Okay. Doorless door. Guess my lady doesn't like her anymore. Good for you, Bill. Looks like nobody's home. Boarded up door. This brings up some painful memories. I don't want to go back to this way. Mattress. The stains are mysterious and unappealing. I hope nobody has to sleep on this. Four five. Stairs. Wait, why can I take the stairs now? Hmm. Interesting. Books. Looks like a communal library or a book swap. Maybe I should set up something similar in my building. I think I hear someone in there. Can I help you? Beverly Pham? You're Leslie's mother? What's this got to do with Leslie? I'm not going to sign anything. Ooh. Yeah. Howard Lotor, private investigator. I need to know about Leslie's background. Private? What's that? What does that mean? It means I'm not police. I'm my own person. So why in Shepard's good name are you wasting your time out here? Other girls went missing, too. I want to find the connection. I've got my own life to live, I'm, and not enough time to live. Tell me about Leslie. Who is she closest to? People not from around here wouldn't understand how it is. Try me. Where did Leslie work? No, I ain't gonna go over it all again. Did Leslie act weird before disappearing? 
I don't have time for this. There's nothing you can do. I want to find these girls. I'm going to be late for work. At a real job. I bet I'm doing more than the police did. That's not saying much. I don't think you're a bad person. I just can't do this right now. Maybe you're stronger than you think. You clearly don't know what it's like to have a child. They're a part of you. A part you can never get back. Can't even imagine what you're going through. I... Oh, hi. Henry, get back inside. This instant. Let him speak. Is he looking for Leslie? Maybe Mommy knows. Mommy? This instant, Henry. So you have another kid? Raising him yourself? Yes, their dad took off when Henry's was little. Let's see. Too much responsibility for him? Said one kid was enough, so he left me with two. Does he know about Leslie? We don't speak, so probably not. Let him find out the hard way, if he even gives a shit. Uh, what made him that way? You tell me, fucking asshole. Men are assholes. Stop with this banner. Anyway, who's mine? I can't talk about this anymore, I'm sorry. Do you mind if I talk to Henry? I really got to get to work. I'll walk with you. Just go and don't come back. I'm sorry, but please, just leave us alone. That's what you really... It's okay. Thanks, Beverly. Be safe. Find a way to speak to Henry Pham. No. She made herself clear. I won't bother her again. I wish I could talk to the kid, though. Which I'm going to guess we go to here. I'm tired and, I, and I'll treat myself to the elevator. Hmm. Bicycle. Whoever else this rusty bike is very trusting. Most likely it's broken. Huh. Wait, if we go up a floor, or a couple floors, and climb back down, I guess we can. So, let's go up to floor 8. Go in there. How do we talk to the kid? Yeah, silence. Ha. This will track floor one. Probably. Oh no. Okay, I won't make trouble. Going down? Yeah, thanks. Me too. Whistle a jolly to everyone. Introduce some melon calling into the tune. Will you knock it off? Sorry, I whistle while I'm nervous. Nearly there now. Here we are. Ladies first. Wait, barely went to work. That mean, must mean Henry is alone. Um, hi. Hey, Henry, it's me again. I'm a detective looking for Leslie. Hi, you don't look like a detective, really. You want to see my badge? Yeah, can I hold it? Sure. Do you answer a couple of my questions? I want to, but... Aren't you scared of being left all alone? Mr. Flufo is always here. Want to meet him? Let's keep Flufo out of this. Between you and me. Uh, Mom said I shouldn't speak to strangers. That's definitely... That definitely doesn't apply to detectives. We're on everyone's side. Okay, but don't tell Mom. Why doesn't she want to talk about it? I don't know. She always gets mad if I ask. Henry? You were going to say something earlier about Leslie? Hmm, but Mom says Leslie made her own bed. I make my own bed, too. Proud of you, bud. You mentioned someone called mine? Leslie's friend, mine. 
Do you know mine well? She always brought me sweets. Yum. Which one? The little pink fuzzy ones. Oh, you mean bum snacks. Really? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that. Bug snacks? No, those are the worst. What about... Uh, bright yellow? Yeah, the swirls never end. Ah, then you must be talking about fizzle boopers. Yeah, fizzle boopers. Have you got any? Nope, but we solved the mystery. Well done, Henry. Yay! Henry, we've taken a tangent. What's my full name? My louder. Wish I lived with her instead. Do you know where my lives? With her weird, stinky brother, Samson. Nearby in these flats? No, down the road. The house with the red door. Thanks, Henry. You've been super helpful. Um, if you see my... You want me to tell her to visit? Yeah, don't tell her I asked, though. Of course, I think you've earned that look at, that look at my badge now. Oh yeah, yay! Badge of honor. It's a rough business, kid. Stay in school. I have to. I have to. And look after your mom. I'll protect. Bye, Mr. Detective. You can call me Howard. Bye, kid. Leslie Fam, a friend called my louder. Lives nearby. So. Place with a red door. Back to West End. Well, see, that's a red door. There's other red doors. Is this the door we're looking for? No. Yum, Mark. Wait, hold on. Yummy, yummy for your tummy. Good old Yumi. I guess the red door is actually the other way, or this one. This one might actually be it. Not. Samson Louder. One moment. Who are you? What do you want? Uh, are you Samson? Depends. Who's asking? Uh, Howard Lotor. I'm a private investigator. I don't trust your kind. Uh, I'm not asking you to trust me. Ha! Good. That would make that would be a waste of breath. I just want to speak to Mai. Mai's not home. When is she going to be back? Who do you think I am, huh? Her brother? Do you know Leslie Pham? Shh, careful. Anyone could be listening. Come in, come in. You've got some explaining to do. Uh, okay, sure. Speak, and don't bullshit me. Where's Mai? I'd like to talk to her. Why? What do you want her for? Speak. I'm investigating Leslie Fan. My knows her. You have a theory? You must have a theory. It better be good. I don't work with amateurs. Huh? Pardon? Those are some cool posters. What do you mean, work with? She's gone. Are you going to help look for her, or are you wasting my fucking time? You're saying Mai's also missing? Yes, you absolute fucking idiot. I'm asking again, what are your theories? Ooh, like, it could be either one, because they're also making drugs, but they're also cutting up people. I think the missing girls are being killed. Fuck no, Mai would never get caught. You've been looking for her yourself? I've been looking, of course. I went to the bite. Did my work at the bite? You don't know shit, do you? What did you find there? Just that Clarissa Bloodworth is a stone-cold bitch. Couldn't have said it better myself. Right on, but my respected her. Did her co-workers say anything? Nobody seemed to know her, like she had never existed. So what do you think was going on? I think Mai found out something she wasn't meant to, then bounced. And the bike closed ranks, pretending like it never happened. What do you think she discovered? That's none of your business. 
I think it is. Sound like you suspect me? No way. I'm just trying to get things straight. You wouldn't be alive if you really thought you suspected me. If I really thought you suspected me. Go on. Ask your questions. Uh, did anything happen between you and mine before she went missing? What are you implying, punk? Maybe she was acting weird. Nah, things were good. I suppose her friend had just gone missing. Leslie? No, not that bitch. I think her name was Rose. They worked together? Yeah, thinking about it, I think she was the first of them to start the fight. Maybe the other girls knew know something. Trust me, I've tried that lead. No dice. How long was my at the bite? A couple of months. Not like forever. You didn't want her to be there. Of course not. She's better than all those other bitches giggling at those rich assholes. Maybe those girls deserve better too. Maybe, but I don't care about them. Uh, did Mai think she was at any risk? Apparently not. She didn't. doesn't believe in herself like I do. So what did she do? She started off as a waitress. She got promoted within a couple of months. Yeah, to what? She wouldn't tell me, just she worked upstairs. Did she change after the promotion? She seemed prouder. Yeah, she was doing good, I guess. What was my like as a person? She's pure. Kind, brave. She's a survivor, and I probably owe her my life. Uh, I can tell you really love her. More than anything. It's obvious you've never heard of her. Of course, she's, of course it's fucking obvious. Was she ever into drugs? No, she didn't need that shit to be happy. She was strong. So sure she still is. The strongest. Do I have any close friends? Few. Mostly factory girls until they became bike girls. Leslie Pham was her friend. There's no way she was really friends with that slut. Why don't you like her? Leslie was a bad influence on me. Uh, how well did you know Leslie? Nobody knew her like I did. She's poison. What's the story between you two? She made me love her, okay? You get close to mine, and to break us apart. Did it work? Yeah, but I saw through her plan before things between mine and I got too bad. Why do you think she did it? She was always on the job, trying to butter you up so you'd visit the bite and she'd look good to her boss. Do you think Maya loved her? Probably. Everyone did. Samson, did you do anything to get back at Leslie? No, sometimes I wish I did. I just felt so alive when she was around. Sorry, Samson. Thank you for sharing that with me. Just promise, you can find out what happened, you have to tell. Mind if I take a look around? Around our house? Sure, but don't touch anything or I'll fucking kill you. I won't. Sword on twins. Wow, it's the Blade of the Heroes. Maybe. That must be my louder. Mm -hmm. Painting with a doggo with a sword, which is cute. Aquarium. Cute lizard. Seems chill. What? Whoa! I just realized why you're really here. They sent you, didn't they? They? Who's they? Say your name, fucker. Pronounce it. Howard Lotor. Ah, I see you're consistent. That doesn't prove anything. I just want to find Leslie and mine. Who told you about the missing girls? It's an open secret. Too many people know about this. Getting out of control. They'll come for me. If they wanted you, they'd already have you. Maybe the timing isn't right, but they'll have a plan. I know it. You're right. They're out there, but we're in this together. Other people are just a liability. They just get you hurt. We both want the same things. I suppose you could be an asset to my work. Right, working together for the same cause. Makes sense, makes sense. The timing has to be right, but we can't wait much longer. I'm not a wimp like you. Well, what's the plan? 
Let's split up. Watch our backs. Bide our time. I'll give you a lead to chase. Uh, what's the lead, partner? The first one that went missing. Uh, Rose? Rose Cle uh, Clemenko. She must have started it all. Go talk to her mom. Who's her mom? You're dumb. Good that you have me. Her name is Florence. She's crazy as fuck. How do I find her? The fuck do I know? Ask around. Hi, right, partner. Let's do it. Thank you, Samson, for not killing me. You're welcome. It's been real. Now get the fuck out of here. Well, that was, um, sudden. I thought that was an exit there. Jesus. Double check that I didn't miss anything here. Good lord. <laughs> oh my god, it's Bo again. Alright, asshole. Howdy, pose the name. News is the game. Oh, wow. Okay, we're really doing this? Haha, <laughs> a little on edge. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> doing what? Engaging in a news-based transaction? Absolutely. Sure we are, Mo. Slip of the tongue? It's Poe. You know what I said, Mo. Sure you do. How about the latest issue of the Padfoot Inquirer? Uh, Padfoot's uh, it's more of a gas town magazine, I think. Well, I don't like to encourage cultural determinism. Just because the locals here are hard up doesn't mean they're not interested in expanding their horizons. Or Mo had some left over. I don't know about Bo, but I like to stock on a broad range of special interest publications. You know Bo? You are Mo. Mo? Bo? <laughs> oh, God damn it. Mo, Paul. Bo is no. He's your. You're all the same person. Calm down, you're, you'll do yourself a mischief. Uh, so you admit it. Admit what? I'm just minding my manners, like mother, like old Mother Flo taught me. Uh, goodbye, Mogopo. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta go find... Uh... Oh, hey. Nata. If you want it, it's for sale, okay? If you need to ask, ask. Uh, excuse me? Trench coat, yes. Mangy ear, stripey. You help my little peanut. Sid, yes? Hey, Sid's mother. Uh, yep, anything to keep the free market free. Yes. Nuts must be allowed to flow freely around. I'm not sure that was Sid's notion. No? The deed that was done was a good one. Not I will remember this. And give you free nuts, yes? Yes. Uh, keep them. Treat a couple of pigeons for me. You always welcome at Nata's, but not today. Next time. Cha-cha, darling. Uh, I gotta ask, what's Sid's deal? Sid is good boy. Very clever. He go far. Farther than anyone guesses. You will see. Not afraid to make enemies. Of course he not. Sid know you must step on hands when it's climbing to top. Yes, but he has cunning. And has me. Uh, shouldn't he be in school? Pa, what does school teach world with boys other than be less than others? With his seed stand, he gets the real street learning. How is this a good boy? He is best boy. He wants best for family and works hard. Yes, sometimes stubborn, but businessman needs backbone. Uh, tell him I said hi. Bye. <laughs> that, was, that was cool. I like that. I'll try to talk to Gabriel again. I'm still busy. I'm looking for Florence Plumman. Good for you. Do you know her? Maybe. Do you know where I can find her? Why would I tell you that? I'm investigating the missing girls. Maybe they don't want to be found. I think Florence's daughter was the first one to go missing. Good riddance. She was a pretty little leech. What did she do to you? Suck the life out of the hood. Tried to sucker me and Jade too, but we ain't falling for her shit. Working at the bite, you mean? Yeah. You gotta be really desperate to go there. Not us, mister. Nah. I don't want anyone else to go missing. I can help. You can't do shit. But if you upset Florence, I will fucking skin you alive. 
That woman deserves some peace, you get me? I get it. I kill for my loved ones, too. She's at the factory, like always. Don't tell her I told you. Thanks for trusting me. You have make me wish I hadn't, and I will make you wish you hadn't. You get me? Where's the factory? Down the alley. You can see it from here. Thanks. Oh, this alley? Or one of these other ones? Labor district that way wouldn't go there if my life depended on it. Ooh, training animation, cool. I just don't like instantly flip. Oh, there we go. Go to the factory. The garden's sleeping on the job. That should be easy. Just gotta find Florence. There's a worker. Gotta be careful. Almost there. Oop. Bunny right there. Oh, is that Florence? Yeah, there we go. Huh? You don't work here. Who are you? Um, this will sound strange. I'm a private investigator. Is that so? Leave me alone. I spoke to Beverly Clam. Samson, too. Rose is gone. I don't know what to tell you. How long has Rose been missing? Twenty days. Look, you gotta go. The supervisor will be here any minute. Where do you live? Can I come over to talk later? Great tenements across the road. Block five. You want to see Rose's room? Yeah, that would help a lot. Damn, fine. We can sneak out now, before the super is here. Let's go. Fire exit, quickly. What? Now? Okay. So, um, yeah, you sure you're okay with this? It feels weird, but you seem honest. I'll try anything at this point. Can you tell me about Rose? My baby girl was so sweet, strong, always took care of her mom. She wanted the best for me, but... Uh, go on? No, it's nothing. It isn't the time to be hiding things. She respected me, but she didn't want to follow in my footsteps. If I had done more for us, maybe... Maybe. Don't blame yourself. You did nothing wrong. We didn't always talk as much as we might have. I get so tired from work, she didn't want to burden me. Uh, still, still not your fault. She's so much more creative than me. Clever, too. Don't know where she got that from. She Did she ever stay anywhere else? No, nah, I mean, only some of the other girls' places. We didn't have much, but her room was special. She called it the Dream Palace. Always had a way with words. Thanks. I'll get looking. Okay, just put stuff back where you found it. I want to keep my baby girl's room tidy. Of course. This feels so familiar. If I turn on the lights, I could meet a friendly family of poplar trees. What is this? Bong? It's a sad empty face. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. Big yellow flower with thorns. Looks like a cheap decor piece you get at a supermarket. Yeah, but those are pretty, pretty cool looking. Picture. White petals, small yellow center. The artist was a child, I hope. Hot plant. Small heart-shaped leaves spilling out down the pot. Looks pretty sad. Relatable. Neglected. Hasn't been looked after in decades. Reminds me of my childhood. Book on flowers. The meaning of flowers, a guide to spiritual botany for beginners. Uh, look up the white flower. Bellus perennis is a common species of daisy of, fa of the family Asticae, often considered the archetypal species of that name. 
It exhibits the phenomenon of heliotropism, where the flowers follow the position of the sun in the sky. The name Daisy is considered a corruption of Day's Eye, because the whole head closes at night and opens in the morning. Daisy is also commonly known as Mary's Rose. Now, let's look at the yellow flower, then. A rose is a flowering plant of the genus Rosa in the family of Rosacea. A rose plants range from si in size from compact miniature roses to climbers that can reach 7 meters in height. Rose prickles are typically sickle-shaped hooks, which aid the rose in hanging onto other vegetation when growing over it. Roses are also known as great fire flowers due to being heavily featured in the myth of creation. Alright, heart shaped plant. Hartley philandrum is a species of flowering plant in the family Ericaceae. Uh, uh, Ericea. Just realized I didn't pronounce that probably. Uh, parts of the plant contain calcium oxalate crystals in varying concentrations. The plant is known to have a narcotic effect on rodents. And there you go. The Heartland philodendron is known as the sweet heart plant because of the uni uh, unique heart shape of its leaves. Put down the book. Okay. Much cozier than the rest of the house. As if Rose never went missing and is going to come home soon. Poor Florence. Terminal. Hey, a computer. Cool. Welcome, Rose. Enter your password. Uh, Clarissa? Password incorrect. Two attempts left. Uh, love Brad123? One, One attempt left. Shit, I forgot my password. Password recovery initiated. Answer the following questions to confirm your identity. Favorite flower? Um, Daisy. Question number two. Favorite band? The Meow Meows. Oh, try again. The doggy dude. Oh, I need to look around. Okay. Monkey Boy is groovy. Ah, I see. Bird. Chirrup. Area. She's the real shit. True queen. Cute cuddle boys. Shit, Larry and I used to blast them in our dorms. Ah, good times. Uh, monkey boys. Try again. Catty Harry. Pet's name. Baby. Try again. Booba. You look around. Sure. What is your name? Alright, if only you could tell me your name. Alright, name, name. Here to name. Here. Me, I'm Howard. What's your name? Uh, Howard? Howard. Howard the Bird. Clever boy. What about your name? To Boing. Your name is Boing? Boing, 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 Wheel. Name, please. Wah. Huh. Are you sad, little birdo? Sad whistle. If I knew your name, it would help me find her. Ignis. Or Ignis, go for the eyes. Pleasure working with you, Ignis. <laughs> Must have been the pet. Ignis. Welcome back, Rose. There we go. Who? Secret? Oh... Before. Sometimes there is blood inside and outside of my body. I could wash it away, but today no water runs in the bathtub. It doesn't fill me. It doesn't touch my shoulders, my knees, or my thighs. I sit there silently, waiting, breathing, and letting the air in. She's made of liquor, tears, empty envelopes, nothing in between. I am others. During is... Today is Thursday. I'm sick of being... Bold in the way my voice breaks when I say a thing without meaning it. I used to sing in my head, but the theater is now full and the audience comes and goes. For instance, I never see the name fa same face twice. Forgetting it makes it easier. Therefore, I remember the music, but not the lyrics. After. Would you like to have some soup? Not really. I'd rather try the main course. The doctor says it's good for your imagination. Like that time through when through slicing and grinding and chewing and speaking, and the flesh speaks too, saying, I am, I am, I am. 
Leslie, I love you. I am taken by this newfound multifaceted moving force commanding me in all directions. There was a gaping void inside my body, an expanded space within, left empty, waiting to get let in bigger things. Nothing escaped and nothing gravitated around the hole. It just sat there, without desire, pronouncing the meaningless noise of existence. And then out of nowhere, love returned. It encompassed the whole of my being. What was once me, me now demands a new definition, new borders, new coping mechanisms. I come up with new words, invent new ways to communicate with the widening world in front of the eyes that were once blind. Now I know. We spoke about our future and how impo it's impossible, but I found a way. Boss knows about us. She mentioned a scavenger that helps people like you and me. There's life beyond the wall, and I want to live it with you. Let me know. I'm going to stay with you whatever you decide. Oh, interesting. So, work clients. Buster Carpenter. Terrier security thug. Official title is VIP public appearance liaison. Complete asshole. Good whiskey. Monkey butt. Always trying to touch the girls. Brags about who he's been bodyguard to. Mainly mid-level politicians who have been doing things they shouldn't have been. Good source of tip-off. Tip-offs. Be happy. Frederick Muller. Accountant. Creepy accountant. Talks very little. Doesn't bother the girls directly, but stares. No one likes him. Luckily, he's a lightweight. Passes out after a few. Has mentioned that he manages funds for a few apes. Science minister included. And hinted that knowing about the finances of the, of the bite. Hoping he'll slip up and overshare at some point. Ah, oh, there's the wolf guy. Warren Wolf. Blacklisted. <laughs> nice. Waves money around like it's nothing. Science City family, but has been hasn't been a great source of information. Probably doesn't know anything anyway. Possessive prick. Got aggressive and started raising his hand at both girls and other customers. Boss threw him out. Said said she had ways of dealing with him if he ever comes back. Good riddance. Guy Silden, police chief, talks shit about interior security. Also complains about science minister having him by the balls. Runs his mouth, but not. About much useful so far. Likes to baby. Likes to be baby talked. Ask Gina to try to try to track specifics about his relationship with the science minister. Project Artifact, what the fuck could that be? Ah, uh, Doug Rogers is a science minister. Careful, respectful of girls, drinks only in moderation, secretive, enters through the back alley, only ever requests Leslie. Boss is a direct liaison. No one is allowed to speak to him. Seems to know Boss well. Leslie doesn't like him talking about him. Leslie spelled he mentioned Project Artifact once and then shut down. Vestity. Bruce Furt. Traffic minister. Reserved among people, loud and arrogant with the girls. Has at least two lovers beside his wife. Brags about his close working relationship with science minister, but obviously never sees him at the club. Only ever only drinks sweet stuff. No whiskey or beer. Very clearly likes to avoid the specifics of his work, but Leslie might be able to get something out of him. Ian McFair. Lawyer has a thing for Gina. Married with children. Does monkey butt like he's zip, sipping on tea. Harmless for a lawyer, so Gina is a good fit. Owns his own firm. Deals almost exclusively with apes and high city officials. Has visited both Vert and Styx. Eddie Hung. Head of biochemistry lab at Science City. Ah, so that's the biochemist, probably. A family man. Likes to get drunk and cry on a girl's shoulder. Seems terrified of science minister. Boss told us to keep him sweet. Seen Boss speaking directly to him when she thought he, when she thought was alone. He looks, he looked depressed. Mentioned Project Artifact to Baby Jean. That's twice now. Must be working on this with Minister. There's totally something exciting going down at Science City. I need to tell Renee. And John Stokes, treasurer, insufferably smug. His food and drink is never good enough, but he keeps ordering the same thing. Everyone hates him, but he throws tips around left and right. Definitely spends money other than his own. Came in with Muller one. A few times asked for private rooms. Tried listening in, but didn't catch much. Terse conversations. All right. Oh. All right. Oh, we got Dream Team. Rose Kilimenko. It me, angry lady with a big butt. <laughs> That's amusing. Baby Gina. Patient with the men. Maybe too patient. High drug sales. Not sure how that happens. Sensitive. Try not to give her rowdy men. 
not a factory girl. I moved to West End recently. Uh, hiring note. Sweet girl, but not the brightest. Young look, petite. Fills a gap in our list. Leslie Fan. Factory girl. Close to my louder. Uh, lives with her mother and little brother. Roots in, the, roots in the area. Hiring notes. Smart girl. Should fit in quickly if hired with my as, as friend. Beautiful. When she enters the room, it feels like a summer day. Rumor she swings the other way. My louder. Factory girl. Leslie's best friend. Very reserved. Hiring notes. May need coaching on how to handle clients. She's a stunner, all right. Her brother is possessive. Tell the bouncer to watch out for him. And then operation. Uh, team. Hire attractive boy girl, loyal girls that know how to make men talk. Start with factory clique, wider West End area. Offer good pay, no sex work, just listening, flirting, and reporting to me. Intel. Boss has access to monkey butt supply. Helps loosen tongues. Mix 50-50 with hype to make addictive. 75-25 when hooked to make them spill. Never let girls try. Sources create super exclusive VIP brand to attract the big boys. Reward with guaranteed access to favorite girls. Make sure girl makes notes, blah, 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 about immediately after session for my eyes only. Deadbeats. Boss will send up candidates, get one or two special girls to get them hooked and find out if they've ever been, if they'd ever be missed. Uh, and be write guidelines for girls. When we're sure, invite them to room two with the painting and call Sue's. Ah. Rose had a system? I wasn't. It wasn't all Clarissa? I'll feel sick again. Wall directions. Contact name Dio. Meet under the bridge on the fifth on the fifth at twelve. She'll take us beyond the wall. Password Daisy Blue. No way. Did Rose and some other girls go over the wall? Interesting. Me, Dio. <laughs> Did you learn anything at all? Uh, Rose is playing a risky game. What did you find? I've been over your room a thousand times. There are secret files hidden on her terminal. What now? Why would she hide them? Uh, your daughter was an ambitious, sensitive woman, keeping tabs on bad people. Stupid girl. I told her. Smarts are trouble. You think she's still alive? Uh, I think she's gone into hiding. Hiding? Where? For how long? Long? Is she in danger? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. I'm not going to ask about all your personal business. But if you mean it, thank you. I ain't got no one else looking out for me. I'll do my best, Florence. There, there. Keep the hope alive. There we go. Alright. Welcome home. Are you alright? I'm okay. Are you? I'm doing well. Thank I'm excited to hear what you found today. Yeah, let's talk the case first. Start with the general crime. What's the connection between the girls? Uh, they all worked at the bike together. That's a great find. How do you know? Why is that important? Uh, because Rose Clemenko recruited them all. So, do we know something about Rose that sheds light on it all? Um, she's been gathering sensitive intel on guests for Clarissa. What kind of information was Rose able to collect? Uh, bear with me. The Byte had two types of clients. The haves and the have-nots. Which ones were mine for blackmail material, like the police chief and folks from Science City? It's an ingenious setup, to be fair. Or ones no one would miss were slaughtered for flesh, like Jeremy. Of course. Fucking Clarissa. And don't leave me in suspense. Did you find any of the intel? Yep, especially on a senior scientist named Eddie Hunt. Okay, so what is Eddie's deal? Both his and the minister's files mention Project Artifact. I think it's our next lead. What do you think it is? Uh, no idea. Eddie's a biochemist. That's all we know. Wait, is that the same guy from the Science City report we found in the minister's files? 
Must be. Genes, proteins, biochemistry. Checks out. We have to look into what this, pro this project artifact entails. Clearly, Clarissa is interested in it. Uh, deal. Did you learn what happened to the girls? Uh, I think they escaped beyond the wall. The fuck? How? Why? Someone called Dio smuggled them out. Then I'd sure like to ask this Dio some questions. Uh, sure, same, but I got no leads on them. At all. This is a lot to process. We need a new plan. Uh, I'm fast. We're catching up to the truth. Can't slow down. Damn, there's still so much we don't know. You did great, though, especially to get to not get killed. I feel bad for Florence, having to live like that, not knowing. We'll get her the answer she deserves. Anyways, let's talk the next steps. Finding Eddie Hunk and learning about Project Artifact. It's all been leading to this. I'm ready. You want to go over the facts? Get everything straight in your head? Uh, I think I'm good. You pay Eddie a visit to the Science City and find the answers. Then we'll get the word out. The rest is up to the general public. How do I even get into Science City? Just employ your usual charm. And if it doesn't work, honestly do whatever it takes. It'll be our biggest chance to corner Clarissa. Ah, you make it sound so simple. Fundamentally, it is. You're a good detective. You'll figure it out. Well, let's fucking go. That's the spirit. But after that, uh, before I do anything, I need to eat and sleep. You'll sleep when you're dead. I'll go grab something at the bodega. Put your feet up until I'm back. You've earned it. For once. Sure, be safe. Yep, it's coming up and finishing the chapter. Busy now. I'll call you back to okay? Bye. Put your feet up. I'll be back soon. Nice day. Maybe everything will be fine. Uh, you had to say it. You had to say it. That's not Renee. Shit. Oh, uh, hi. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> hi, Clarissa. Well, aren't you going to offer me some tea? Um, what kind of tea? Surprise. Uh, coming right up. Which cup should I pick? Simple red cup. She seems calm. Better keep her that way. But how nice it would feel to hit her in the face. Uh, it's important I stay composed. I know how to do this. It's the worst thing that could happen. I will die today. It's fine. I hope her name's okay. Good choice of food. I'll give you that. I'd say that you're welcome, but you're not. Now, how the Lord, this is going to be a very linear conversation. I ask questions and you answer. And remember, I know when you're lying. Is that clear? Sure. Question number one. Do you know why I'm here? Uh... You heard our broom mean tea? I was planning on keeping this polite, but if you will be flippant, maybe I'll have to try a more direct approach. Let's talk. We're both professionals here. You're a newbie private dick with a photography degree. Who hired you? Of the fine people of this city. How very noble of you. What is her name?
You're not making any sense. If you're not cooperating, then you're not useful to me. Now, be careful what you say next. I don't remember who Ellen Adverson is. Uh, I won't say anything. Howard, Howard, we'll move on for now. But only because I, fi I'll fi I will find out either way. I'm sure. Yes, let's talk about what you think you're sure about. What you found out. Uh, can you be a little more specific? You snooped around my bar. You coerced my shopkeeper. And you spread rumors about me all over West End. Ah, uh, correct. What a mental? Want a medal? Big boy. What else did you find? Give me the full picture of your sophisticated investigation. Shit, I don't know which one to answer. I think the... Uh, one of your buttons. My, you really are quite resourceful. So the minister, what did you find? Uh, he's protecting me, covering me, as expected. Do you understand why? Uh, he's scared of you, obviously, but I doubt that's all there is to it. Here's an offer. You work for me and find out the truth. Uh, I know what's work what working for you is like. It's not appealing. I know when people need a leash, but I have partners who are given free reign, too. I am not your partner. Yes, give it time and think. Or yet, give it time and think. Ah, oh, thanks for stopping by. My final question. So much misguided effort spent pursuing only the shadow of the big picture. Why? <laughs> Next. Think about my offer. Next time I ask will be the last. See you around, Mr. Lothor. Uh, send your mom my regards. Goodbye, Clarissa. I see you found your manners. Good. Suze, say goodbye to Mr. Lothor. Take it away, Suze. I don't give a fuck. Man, what is it my, my turn to, you know, beat the crap out of somebody? Fuck, fuck, Renee is not coming back. I gotta continue. Can't stop now. Science City? The Science City Tour, probably the easiest way in. Unless you're a genius, or just the right kind. You know what? I've kind of lost my appetite lately. Keep your noodles, your delicious, savory noodles. Wonder how Lewis is doing. No doubt fearing for his life, poor idiot. Blood's on your hands too, asshole. Your ivory power is coming down. Project Artifact. What does that even mean? You're getting shut down if it's the last thing I do. No more. What's out there? What's really out there? What aren't they telling us? Lately, it seems every despicable thing in the city connects with a bite of blood work. Fucking figures. Why? What are you doing all this? What's your endgame, Bloodworth? War power? And was this part of your plan, Bloodworth? Is there something I'm not seeing? Calling it all. Uh, hello, Anatoly. It's Quick Wheelies here. Hey, it's Howard. Oh no. Sad voice. What happened, partner? You want me to get you some cocoa? Uh, I'm fine. Good for you. What you doing? Celebrating our successful partnership? Our beautiful friendship? Hello? Can you pick me up tomorrow? Oh yeah, what's the plan? Where are we heading? Science City. Whoa, same place at nine then? Yeah, one more thing. Yes, buddy? Get you some headache pills? Uh, can you get me something for personal safety? I hear you. I'll see what I can do. You want to tell me what's up? Uh, sorry, friend, I can't. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Sure thing, buddy. Oh, I understand. Now go and rest them both, okay? Thank you. Bye. Tend only got you, Pond. It's only, it's only fair because of the stupid 
stupid coloring book. Did you bring it? Yeah, check the glove box. You know how to use it? I do. Goody. Sometimes folks forget things in this cap. Things with serial numbers filed down. Crazy, right? Crazy. Drop me off at the Science City entrance, then wait on Granville. Granville? The parade's on today, remember? Main Street's too crowded for cabs. I'll see if I can find an empty alley. Oh, and Howie, stay safe. Science City. All right. I think we are going to pause here before this third act starts. So I'm going to hit quit. And uh, we're going to wrap up for the day. Um, I don't want to hit my time limit and uh, have like... 20 minutes of story left on Friday, so uh, we're going to leave this third chapter for Friday. Sure you want to quit? Yes. All right. Pop on over here. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in and hanging out while we went back into detective mode uh, with Backbone. Uh, we are on the third chapter. We reached the third chapter. We didn't finish the game. Uh, we will most likely finish the game on Friday. Um, afterward, we are going to start with, uh, No More Heroes of One. Yeah, this is a very good game so far. Uh, I was reading the reviews and they're like, oh, after the, after, other than the prologue, there's not much to the game. It's just story and that's the point. It's a story game, folks. Don't, don't, don't be like that. <laughs> it is a fantastic story with great visuals so far. A very nice style. Uh, we'll see how it wraps up on Friday, though. All right, let me go see who I can send you all to. Who is streaming that I can send you all to? Let me see. Clev, Redox. Uh, Screaming Doggo, Schultz, uh, what was everybody playing? Uh, um, I'm trusting. Oh, see, Boba, no, I don't know how to out with this, this couple of folks. I will... I'm going to send you over, over to Redox. Everybody else has a bunch of folks watching them. They're just they're like, like helping out other small streams. And they are playing Minecraft, so that's all good. What are they playing? Oh, yeah, they're playing on the um, new Minecraft version. So that's actually a good place to send y'all. Oh, okay. Yeah, Redox is awesome. So we're going to send you off to Redox. Looks like they're hunting for axolotls in the Minecraft 117. So let's start off this raid. All right. Uh, thank you again, everybody, for tuning in. I will be back Friday. Uh, I have appointments tomorrow, so I don't think I'll have a bonus stream, but you never know. Uh, starting at 1.30 Central. Uh, Going three to four hours, we'll finish up Backbone, start on No More Heroes, and maybe do some little side stuff with uh, Totally Accurate Battlegrounds as I'm working on something. Uh, you'll find out then. <laughs> all right. You all go give hurts to Redox, and you all have a wonderful rest of the day, and I will see you all when I see you. Bye now!